kick your summer off in style with the brand that's reinventing men's basics, Mack Weldon. Mack Weldon is so much more than just underwear. Their full collection includes t-shirts, polos, button-ups, shorts, pants, swims, and so much more. With light and breathable fabric technology, Mack Weldon keeps you cool and comfortable all summer. From work to working out, happy hour to playing with your kids, Mack Weldon has men's essentials for whatever your day includes. I love the Mack Weldon socks. They're soft, breathable. I can walk around all summer long. And when I'm sporting those Mack Weldon swim the Vesper Polo, the Maverick Tech Chino Shorts and Radius Short. I tell you, I'm comfortable and casual, and I'm looking damn good. Dive into Mack Weldon swim line with trunk and board short options that are quick to dry and have four-way stretch fabric. When you're not in the pool, Mack Weldon's new Maverick Tech Chino Short and Radius Shorts are the perfect additions to your summer wardrobe. Mack Weldon also has a free loyalty program called Weldon Blue with shipping for life. For 20% off your first order, visit MacWeldon.com slash peasants and enter promo code peasants. That's MacWeldon.com slash peasants, promo code P-E-A-S-A-N-T-S for 20% off. Mac Weldon, reinventing men's basics. In the beginning, there was nothing. There was the Drunken Peasants Podcast. I gotta get a weird this. No! Say, man, you got a joint? Uh, no, not on me, man. I don't have facts to back this up. It'd be a lot cooler if you did. <laughs> That's true. Sometimes I cry. Oh! Miss my butthole, he laughed. <laughs> From the strangest corners of the internet, here to bring you opinions of the world from an altered perspective, here are your hosts, the Drunken Peasants. Hello everybody, welcome to the Drunken Peasants Podcast, this is episode 885, and we will be on the screen in just a moment here, uh, some glitchy glitches going on here lately, and uh, you know, another big glitch Named Shabisky showed up. Uh, kind of, kind of. He, he's he's tardy. He's, he's tardy. tardy. He's tardy in more ways than one. Uh, let's let's give him a call here. We, ha- T- we You guys should give him the nickname from now on. I'm starting a new nickname for him. I want this to get trending in his chat and on Twitter. Tardy Shabisky. Tardy Shabisky. He's T- tardy. Tardbisky. I I don't know if that's. A taste tardy bisky. He's tardy. Tardy. He's he's here now, so we'll bring him on. You You're know what tardy. tardy means, right, Shabisky? Um, it means that I'm early, obviously, and yes, I am early. Would you say I that you're here. at least a little bit tardy? A little bit. It was my computer's fault, though. It didn't know how to work. So on a scale from one to Corky from Life Goes On. How tardy are you? That was a that, that's a boomer joke, isn't it? Probably. You know what that was, though, right? I oh, do. Yeah. Okay. Oh bloody, oh blada. Life Corky. goes on, Shabisky. Yeah. I'm too young for this. I don't know this reference. You're a baby. I saw. Um, You're just a baby. <laughs> I saw a, uh, a, a Shabisky did a stream where he was torturing animals. It was awful. Hmm. It was fun. It was cool. <laughs> he was no. He was he was messing with lizards in the desert. I'm like, what are you doing to those poor lizards? <laughs> were they big? Uh, no, they were little. Well, it was a uh, it was a gecko. It was a uh, um a western banded gecko. He was doing a Steve yeah. Irwin. He was sodomizing the poor little thing with his fingers. Oh God! Yeah. It was gross. Stick it in the ass out. You know, Steve oh, Irwin died from messing with animals, yep. right? You got to be careful. Yeah. I, I stayed away from its tail. It's okay. We're fine. Okay. Uh, was it a Gila monster? No. Those are venomous. <laughs> That's Those are venomous. That'd be bad if yeah. Shabisky came in contact with a Gila monster. They live in New Mexico. I don't know if they live anywhere else. They live no. near the Gila River. No, they live- Do they? 
You have there? in the Mojave Desert, and the Mojave Desert goes between like California, Nevada, and yeah. New Mexico. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, and you're right. They're the only venomous lizard in the whole United States. Yep. And they're here with me. Yeah. Shout out to Elix Gray and everybody making all the AMC money. Those big AMC gains. Oh, yeah. AMC is still going strong. I've been hearing people talk about it all week. I should have jumped on it, but I spent all my money on Magic Cards. I never thought I'd live to see troll investing where people, they invest in something that, uh, like corporations that are seem to be on the outs, and then they kind of troll invest. It's pretty great. Yeah, I don't know. I, th- I think there was some reason for AMC to actually see some growth. Uh, they're doing a mask off policy. They're 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 opening the doors again, so there, there could be a lot of interest in AMC. But yeah, there was a lot of troll there too. Uh, Shibisky, uh, do you have a bowl? It's earwax. Of butter? No, that's earwax. Is that earwax? Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's earwax. He's got some dirty ears. Myself. Don't spread that on toast. He stayed the night like at Shani's house and used one of their pillows, Ugh. and that's how oh. his ears looked the next morning. He Man. picked all that out. That was unfortunate. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I yeah. Guess, I guess, there's like a whole big story of Shani and Rev right now. Yeah, yeah, and I've I've got it. Yeah. It's, and it's our thumbnail and our title, so yeah, we're going to get to it. It's something. My voice is horrible. at 75%. Uh for everyone that listened to the last episode, my voice was dead. It's at it's at about 75% now. It's almost back. You're finally. coming back. I'm coming back. And two shows in a row by by Wednesday. We'll yeah, we're doing a show shows. tomorrow, and we're doing a show the day after, so remember that, guys. No matter how many times we, we say it, saying things on the show, announcing things on the show almost never works. Yeah. Because most people still don't know. Egghead was like, Monday show? It's like, yeah, we said that last time, Egghead. Pay attention. Classic Egghead. Classic Egghead. Not paying attention. Yeah, so Ben's voice, hopefully, by Wednesday, will be back to 100%, and hopefully our goal will be 100% by Wednesday. So this is, the goal and Ben's voice are like brother, sister right now. It's I'm caring. getting like 40-year-old acne, too. I hate it. <laughs> I think it might be from wearing a mask, though. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I, yeah, I'm getting 40-year-old acne. It's awful. Like, it's I thought bad. this should, I thought there were two things that I thought by the time I'd be 40 that I would at least not have acne anymore and that I would be able to grow a mustache. <laughs> and I can't do either. Yeah. I laugh because I, I get acne like that sometimes, yeah. too. It's the worst. Yeah, it sucks. And then uh, I can't grow a mustache either. <laughs> I can grow like I can grow a mustache that I should have been able to grow when I was like 15. Yeah, that's not um, worth it. Yeah. It's not worth it at all. No, no. I shave. It just looks like I got dirt under on, on my upper lip. I had so, uh, I had so. belly acne. I had, a, I, had belly a pimple acne. On my, I had a pimple on my belly today. I was like, what the hell are you doing down there, belly pimple? Belly acne. I had a belly pimple. <laughs> belly acne. It, was, it pissed me off. I was like, what are you doing there? Just stop it. You stop got it. belly acne, Shabisky? You got belly pimple? Mm-hmm. Yeah? Yeah. We it's can got... pop each other's belly pimples. Ooh. I don't, don't do want to have belly pimples. I want my belly to be nice and smooth. I know. I'll get rid of them for you. That's what we're here for. Sweet have boy, you ever had? Have you ever had acne? Oh yeah. oh yeah! You got what you. You know what? Sometimes I would get it from like where I keep my wallet in my back pocket, and I sit down. I get horrible ass knee. Yeah. You know, and like it, it, it hurt. It hurt on your butt. Yeah. One time I had a. It's really a, bad. I had a, a ass pimple so big that it like went up my ass. It, it was went like, up. Yeah. Is it, what, at what point does that become a, hem, a hemorrhoid and not be a, a acne? Anymore? I don't know. It was like, hey, Papa, I'm going in. And I was like, no, don't. And then he's like, yep, I'm in there. People are saying TMI, really? How long have you been watching this show? Yeah, one thing about this show is that we talk open and honestly about all of our butt pimples. Yep. Yeah. DP actually originally stood for damn pimples. Damn pimples. True. Yeah. Damn pimples. DP, damn pills. So, uh, we're going to move on. If you guys can all give us a like, that'd be cool. Giving us a like is always nice. We don't normally stream on Mondays, but I've found in the past that when we have, 
the Monday crowd is pretty cool, and we, we you know we get a good amount of people in here, and chill. we usually get pretty close to our goal. So chill Monday, friends. It's gonna be chill until we start showing Shani's house. Oh my God! Yeah, it's uh, it's just a, a disaster. Yeah. I, when I saw it, I, I immediately felt sad and disgusted at the same time. But then also, uh, I was watching one of the videos, and uh, Rev had a magic card collection in the house. Mm. And, and then I was immediately like, I want to, I want to know what magic cards Rev, Rev has. I like paused the video on the magic card collection, open in the binder. I was like, What do you got there? What do you got there? That's how pathetic I am. It's uh, a very rare uh, scabies magic card. <laughs> you ever get scabies? No. Yeah, there was this. Uh, my friend was friends with like the 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 Grime House, and we went to the Grime House because my friend was friends with them. And inside the Grime House, I don't know what the Grime House is. It's just like the shitty house on the block. Okay. And it was like a couple of kids we went to school with, but he was friends with one of the. The, the, the girls there and we went to the grime house and we all got scabies and it was nasty no i've never had scabies it was nasty nope sounds like a good time though Man, i missed it. out no nah, i don't never want scabies. had a childhood guys never go to the grime house so, ben you get scabies i never had a childhood never go to the um, grime house so please like the stream. We're at 100. That means Shabisky can do something cuz he won't yeah. do anything unless likes happen i don't do anything but, <clears throat> Billy, you, so you collect magic cards? Oh, magic the no. Gathering yeah, cards. Okay, I'll Dude, pick check you this off the out, show, bro. I, hold on. I just got this new pack of Magic the Gathering cards. Look at it. That's it's pretty uh, awesome. That's an Elvish I'm archer? planning on opening it up <clears throat> here real soon. Why does it have the DP logo on it? I'm going to sue these motherfuckers. Oh, wow. Sue them. Is that elves? That's a pack of elves? It's a pack of elves magic cards. Uh, it's War really elves? cool. I'm really looking forward. I'm hoping I'll get a, a, a hollow in here. Yeah, you probably get a mecha hollow foil deluxe. Is that a die <laughs> yeah. on the toilet plus two? <laughs> uh, I like how because of the green screen, that part's invisible. <laughs> that's That That was my joke about the DP. I'm going to make a peanut it. butter and banana uh, dump. Uh, yeah. You stole your logo. <laughs> yeah, that yes. was my joke, Shabazz. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, very observant, Shabazz. Good job, buddy. <laughs> I'm high. Right. And I just woke up. Oh, and I yeah, weed. it was an accident. It was I an accident. I smoked the weed. I blame the weed. You can't do that. Wow. I can turn off the goddamn internet. Oh, don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Wow. 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 Um. All right. So we'll just get into the Shanny thing and we have to credit D Dragnut, who I who I don't even know. Yeah. But I, I, I've heard G-Man drop him like a billion times throughout yeah. the years I've known him. Hannibal and Monty bring him up every once in a yeah, while. Yeah. Yeah. So he he made this video covering the disaster that is Shanny and Rev's living arrangements. And you know what? At first, I wasn't going to cover this because I feel bad because I know they have kids and their kids have to live in this place. And I, I heard they were getting evicted, too. Like, I guess Shanny made a video that she later deleted of her, like, bawling her eyes. I'd be like, we're getting evicted, showing the eviction notice. And it's like, I, I even though I, I, I think Shanny and Shanny especially and Rev are disgusting people, I don't want people being homeless, especially that they have kids. So I feel bad about that part. I think they're going back to the the house they let G-Man yeah, live in. Yeah, because because they actually own a house. They were just kind of like they I, I think they just wanted to live in a place where weed was legal yeah. or something or They got I, a townhouse out in Colorado where yeah, weed was yeah, legal. Yeah. Yeah. So. They have a house and they're they're acting like this, really? Oh the yeah. Fuck? Yeah, they let G-Man live in it temporarily. Um and now they have to go move back to it. Maybe they just had G-Man move in there to clean it up, and now they're going back in. Because this house, this house is like a townhouse. They've only been there for what a couple years tops. 
I think well I, I don't know if it was if it was true or, or or they were just trying to throw people off but they made it seem like they had moved in to a different place mm. because it had gotten leaked where they were because of all the police reports and yeah. all that stuff well I think that the, the hallway they have in one of these videos is the hallway where Shani got uh copped out of so bam bam big <laughs> she got bam bam big allowed. She, when she was handcuffed, she did. She looked like Bam Bam Bigelow in a moo moo. Thank yeah. you for all your content, especially the free content I've been <coughs> getting the last year or so while I've been skinned. Skinned. Does that mean you're hard up for some dough? Thank you, Ash. Is that what that means? I don't know what skint means. But uh, yeah, we appreciate the compliment and the and the twenty bucks and all that cool stuff. Yeah. Uh, oh, I need to make an announcement, and I know a lot of people won't hear it, but at least there's enough of you here. Tomorrow is the last day to sign up for the twenty five dollar perk to get the exclusive T shirt. It's the first day of next month. So you want to be you either you want to sign up for the twenty five dollar perk tomorrow, um, and stick with it for three months prior. If you sign up any day after that, you're not going to be able to get it. So because we had to pick a cutoff time, and that's where it is. Uh, yeah. So just want to point that out. I know some people won't hear it, but you can only do what you can do. Getting information, getting true information out on the internet is extremely hard, and getting false information out is extremely easy. It's very strange, the world we live in. Anyway, here's a Shani for, for Crashester. Yeah, I think this is, starts around 12 to 15 minutes is where the action is. Is it muted? Uh, I think this is just an intro. Is there sound? I think at a certain point there is. Yeah. Oh, here it is. You said 12 minutes? 12 to 15 minutes, yeah. Just squeege up in there. Uh, this one they get to the house. I don't know. Um, oh, yeah. We'll probably start. Yeah, start with it right here. Happened uh, because the they were talking hit about with it. An overwhelming stench. And there obviously. People that uh, were going out to look at the house because I guess Shani and Rev left the house open and said guys go take whatever you want out of the house we're just leaving it we're just leaving the house and i guess they're gonna try and tell the management property that someone broke in and made this mess did <laughs> they this... say that on a live stream over over the internet well that's what that's what the the scam seems to be is um, that they're they're gonna say that someone broke in i don't know where the validity of that is so it's not they're getting evicted because they trashed the place not because they couldn't pay right? i'm not sure because like where I live, if I if I like, I get periodic home inspections from my landlord, and if they came here and the place was just a, a like a wreck, I would get evicted just because of that. Even if I could pay, like if I totally fucked up the place yeah. beyond repair, that this this is a huge issue for anyone who could potentially want anything. So uh, after Rev gave us the go ahead. Uh, he said, "Okay, cool. Let's see what is." Oh, it is because of rent. Someone said it. Twenty k in rent. Oh, there. You know what? There's still a moratorium. I think until like October. So, they there has to be another reason they're getting evicted though, because there's like a federal moratorium on evictions right now. Even if they did owe twenty k in rent, they they can't be kicked out legally right now. This person has I, a, I, a, at least a high res camera. Uh, the other person was just using his phone, so you guys will get to see. Of course, she's live now, of course. Uh, you guys will get to see sort of a, a better resolution of what was actually in the apartment, and you're going to hear him sort of narrate uh, the smells. Uh, oh, it ended? Uh, the moratorium uh, ended? Everything else oh, okay. that he's observing. Probably something heavily mixed with... Um... Ugh, God, I can't think. It's weird. So someone... So who is this person that's filming this? Uh, somebody who was, I guess, a fan of Dragnut and went out into the house because they just left the door open and said, go in and take whatever you guys want. So this is not illegal, what they're doing here. I, no, I, I, do, I do believe that they were, Rev told everybody to just go take whatever they want because they abandoned everything there. And then I guess the, 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 the story is that they're going to tell their apartment owners that people broke in and stole stuff, and that's why the, the place is in the... The condition it's in. It smells like weed, but like really bad weed. And 
So they just threw a bunch of shit in this closet. Look at yeah. the ring light to make Shani look extra beautiful. She's as her beauty light. Yeah. Maybe like blunt rolls. There's just shit everywhere. I don't know if I dig through those blankets I, like that. Yeah. I love it when uh, dead, I love it when Shani tried to make it seem like Shabisky was a predator after her children when she forces her children to live in this filth. She's the she's the abuser here. Just sure just Seattle from Utah. Wanted to let you guys know you <clears throat> that this place freaking rocks. Chub. Yeah, it's uh, hell yeah. yeah. It's pretty nice. It's are a you, nice weather. Here? Nice weather today too. It's beautiful. Yeah. It's just that's just the closet. Stairwells are utterly destroyed. By <laughs> yeah, look at the. Oh. How long? Anyone out there know how long they've been living here? Because couldn't this, have been that long, really. Yeah, but it looks it it looks like a fraternity lives here. You yeah, know what I mean? Like a bunch of like twenty year old dudes that don't give a fuck that have parties every weekend. You know, and, and just throw their garbage and ash their cigarettes on the yeah, carpet. It doesn't there. look like dirt uh, due to age. It looks like dirt due to like, AIDS. massive use. Like this is all could have happened over the course of a month. I don't know who would be cheaper to pay to remove this and replace it. Like or a just year of They're just gonna. Is that a, a whole garbage. ass it's honking a Cheeto? Cheeto? <laughs> There's Cheeto. a whole ass honking Cheeto chilling. Man, I'm surprised Shani didn't grab that on the way up the stairs as a little nose. <laughs> place it there's no you can't clean that that that's it's too much yeah you know what usually in a rental unit uh they put down the cheapest carpet possible because they pretty much especially like after a two to three year lease they're like uh yeah we'll just re it's cheaper to recarpet it than to, to pay people to get all the stains it's out clean. of it there is yeah, i'm aware that she's live she's waiting for me to go live so less people so y'all have to understand something about shanny uh, she thinks that she can garner attention and pull it away from other people. I wonder if she's streaming uh, if right she now. she goes live. I don't know, yeah. Because she doesn't want people looking at this. Man. Uh, that's why she did that. Like, it's, she's not slick. She's done this stuff before. Or she, she went live when Dragnaught went live. Maybe she is live right yeah, now. Yeah, check and see if she's she live. Like, Them drunken pe peasants. They lurking in this my... Stuff before. They're lurking. Uh, lurking. But people are going to see. Again, this is from a lurking second perspective. Potatoes what was going on in that apartment and why they didn't want CPS, the police, anywhere near it. Well, it looks like to be blood on the wall. Oh, no. Dried up quite it's a bit. It's Rev's blood. Okay, that's something that we didn't know about, and I heard about that this morning. Uh, and so this is the same stairwell that they got in the fight, uh, Shani Rev got in the fight during Christmas. It's Rev's blood. Uh, there's no doubt in my mind who's tougher, like who can whoop whose ass in that relationship. There's literally no doubt in my mind. And we heard a bit of uh, the back and forth where Rev asserts that Shani was physically assaulting him. So yep. this, is, this is quite possibly one of the areas where they got into a physical scuffle and... Uh, she may have damaged his nose, right? Uh, I can speculate all day, but from what the volunteer says here, that that's it's more than likely some dried blood. Looks like Shani is live right ah, now. Hi, Shani. I don't know if she's watching or not, but it, it, the video is titled "The Domino's Mukbang." Oh. Yeah, that's blood. Oh God! All over the wall. At least it looks like it. Hey, there's some more Domino's um, mukbang on the floor. This is the kitchen space. They left their animal feed. So the magic um, cards were on this counter the earlier. Table, dresser. The person had permission trash. from the owner. Shani called cops and falsely said the person broke in and ransacked the That's place. That's illegal, by the way. And but get all the damage. Submitting a false police report is a crime, by the way. Handful of stuff. Like they don't look like they've taken the trash out in months in this in this particular apartment. This is like a, a nice townhouse like too. Like, well, here they haven't cleaned damn. this fridge. What are they and, like wiping their ass and then touching that? <laughs> like, what is God that? Knows how long? Just, oh, just God. around. That stinks. 
oh god they they just let food rot in their fridge no no like i i like bi-weekly i clean this the is, fridge this I is clean not the... a commercial for dr pepper oh that reeks what oh god then close it dude so they just moved out they've been gone maybe 24 hours now and he's gagging at the smells coming out of the refrigerator because you can sort of tell right. a lot Ooh. of that stuff in there had been sitting there for quite some time. And it doesn't, because I think I can actually see something molding there in the first, uh, I should say the, the second to last tray at the bottom. Molding. Uh, you can see uh, something sort of moldy down there. Okay. Yeah. No. See. Ooh. Ah, delicious kimchi. It probably it was probably just uh, regular cabbage <laughs> at first. It was coleslaw. Yeah, and now it's it kimchi. I mean, the freezer's gross, but that refrigerator's. Ugh. Well, they left their little Amazon Echo or whatever on the right. counter. So little we Echo got all dot. this random shit for no reason. I want to see Love Rev's magic house. card collection. This room. Um, is I, I will to offer be. a bounty on the magic cards. What is all this shit like in little? Pieces all over Kids the floor room of some sort. Uh, they have guinea pigs or something, and that was the bedding. He they does were have using gloves on. The the window to block the light from hitting. The oh my god! Look at the fist. fucking. Oh, <sighs> or do they just like shit themselves in bed? Maybe. Look at the just. This was a child's bed. Oh no! You you got to change the sheets on your kid's bed. Like when your when your kid like pisses themselves in bed or whatever, you got to change the sheets. Uh, supposedly, and you can actually see down there. You see the the top layer. This looks like a fucking prison cell in some third world country. There is obviously where the child slept, but you can see the actual color down towards the bottom, uh, and that's a huge difference. That's a huge difference, and it's just holy fuck. Some autistic child lived here. I, I, I'm, again, I was paid to come in. Oh here yeah, there is a hamster take cage. Take and get the hell out. So that's what I'm doing. Or a guinea pig or whatever. Yeah. Jim Johns. Uh, okay, so I gotta hold my breath in here because I can oh, smell. No. This oh no! I heard about this. I oh, heard about no. this. I left part. the bathroom lights on and the uh, vent um, here. Oh, what is? Oh, that's like a shitty litter box, isn't it? Uh, yeah. What? <laughs> it's just god awful. Who spilled the beans? Oh no! They Papa, had no! This litter box. Oh I no! I literally just vomited a little bit. Oh all. no! I gotta open these windows. Yes. <laughs> oh, cute! Succulents. I love the decor. Cute. Oh, they don't open all the way. Ah. I fucking hate that. Oh, okay, I gotta get out of here. Oh, I can't. Don't slip. I can't. Damn. Okay. Did he just get an alert that Shanny was live? <laughs> Dra because this is Dragnaut doing his uh, his live stream. He got a fucking alert that Shanny was live. <laughs> so it's so bad that this guy's gagging. That it's that bad, folks. I get so that that cat shit is like out of cat shit is infinitely gr more gross than dog shit. Like I, it's probably the type of food they get and maybe their digestive system, but cat shit is stinkier and more gelatinous and Ugh. more disgusting. Dog shit is still it's shit, but it's it's not as bad. It doesn't smell as bad. It's not as bad. Object that y'all see down there, uh, one of the cat owners uh, was talking to us and said that's that's actually some sort of automatic, uh, or I guess self cleaning. Uh, you know cat litter system and but what you're supposed to do is that there's a catch tray underneath it I believe and you're supposed to empty that every so often uh, the reason you see all that runoff is because they just never emptied it because you know Why would they? Cat like shit is so bad it gives you toxoplasmosis. Right yep actually, <laughs> smells, Oh uh, green screen terrible. This is yeah. the studios where all the magic Again, was Rev made. was smoking indoors. We actually see his ashtray up uh, in, in the room on his side 
How dare they smoke I, I indoors? Feel like I'm getting at, some there's smoke. a whole lot worse going on in this yeah. house than smoking indoors. Yeah, than smoking indoors. Who cares about that? God, they spent money on all of this shit <clears throat> and like just left, left it, it there. Right. Wash and dry yeah. don't look like they were ever used. Huh? How much money is this going to waste right here? We've seen like thousands I of dollars do... worth of stuff so far. Shot. And by the way, if you're sending in Streamlabs or Super Chats, we'll, we will read them at the yeah, end of they're this. They're saying that the room was the older kids and he was pissing in bed. Back there. Huge that's, that's shots. Was he like special needs or something? I don't can't know. can't get to the other child's room. Huh? Oh. oh, that's where uh, all the magic happened. I remember them filming in here. They leave I'm laptops a, there? I'm sure. Of what? What's in their fridge? Actually, it is More gross. That. Smelling in here? Oh no! It's like body. Oh no! And like oh no! Cigarette. Like so. Okay, I had it. So this. So um, the <laughs> this 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 is this is uh, someone that Lola knows, and they had a uh, they had a comment. They had a uh, they had a comment about this room. The person who's filming this. And he he can't actually place. So I'm pretty sure Rev isn't the biological father of those kids. I'm pretty sure it's like a previous guy she was with. After seeing this kind of shit, can can he like take custody of those kids and get them the fuck away from? He probably Shani? he probably if he wants to he probably can. Oh God, it's the smell. <clears throat> he doesn't know everything that went on in that room, but he's unsure. But that's the what same room. This is the same bed shit? that they were doing the OnlyFans on where we yeah. watched oh. Shani and Rev have sex and <coughs> him, her pee on him and all the other kind of stuff. So he's smelling uh, a, mostly. Yeah, because you didn't seek out. You only saw the like the normal shit that was leaked. Yeah, her uh, body was odor. leaked on all of a Rev, Shani's urine. Uh, and it, it stands to say he is a gay man. He's never been with a woman. So... That may have that may play into why he can't really place the smell, uh, no. since he's not used to being around uh, a woman, uh, especially one it. of let's say Shani's yeah. caliber and yeah. and hygiene regimen. So uh, that's that contributes to a lot of this. So there you go. They didn't want to check the size Shani's clothes. No, no one. The people are avoiding touching her clothes directly. I want to try to say they were smoking weed, but I don't. Oh, the don't keto smoke. yogurt, good going, Shani. You keep you keeping it, it going. Like it was just proud of you. I'm walking over a two foot tall pile of clothes I feel like right now. Like Ebenezer Scrooge, or no, no, Scrooge McDuck could swim through this like, like his pile of gold. Oh no! Can of cat food. Just oh no! Open. This place. What's the over and under that there's like huh? an unflushed dump in there? I'm sorry. I I, I know it's kind of mean but it's hilarious that they have a scale there how how high do you think shani had to fill that bathtub with water I, I thought you were going to comment on how clean it looks compared to she can't fit in that bathtub <laughs> oh Egghead's like, well, the rest of my house is uh, better than Shane's. Yeah. <laughs> Look at all. Dude, there's fucking Swiddle Debbie Swiss rolls. And red hot sauce in the bathroom sink. That's how you know Shani was living. She I living. saw Pesca Pescator just commented that he just saw the first Shani and Red video today, which is mind blowing because I've been dealing with this bitch for like six, seven years now. Yeah, um, she she's been around a long time. Food, trash. Biological dad's a mess. Look at the, yeah, it's this fucking disgusting. Yeah. That's sad. Absolutely fucking disgusting. So that that video where remember when we first found out how filthy they were when Rev was doing the Magic the Gathering video and we paused it and we saw. You know, becoming a parent is like a bigger responsibility than pretty much anything else out there, yet it takes zero qualifications at all, aside from being able to <clears throat> procreate. Uh, it's really weird because we test, <clears throat> we test and are very, uh, we, and very uh, particular about other types of responsibilities. Yeah. Uh, that aren't even close to as big of responsibilities as being a parent.
Yeah. Trash everywhere. And Rev got upset. It's harder to get a driver's license than be a parent. And then he turned the lights out and said that he cleaned it. And we all knew that he was lying. He didn't clean shit. This is this is what is in that bathroom even after now I want to watch Rev's Magic the Gathering video. Absolute fucking squalor. <laughs> Sitting in the sink. Oh my right. god. Oh, here's another fucking closet of hell. Surprise closet. <clears throat> All them TVs, they're like, fuck it. We don't need this need shit. It. Yeah, step over that shit. <clears throat> oh, is that the Batman action figure? This room. There's just like. This is really. Oh, the, go ahead. The, the, a dumb part about this is that they have so much stuff, and you know they took more stuff with them, and it's like they could have just started selling stuff on like eBay and started paying the rent. They're too lazy. Or whatever. I, they heard, I heard. They, they, <laughs> I heard that they did try and sell some of the stuff, and then when they got the money, they never sent it out. Hey, everybody, please like the stream if, you, if you're new no, to the stream. So easy. We're going to keep going. Please give us some likes. Let's try to get to 200 likes. And also uh, retweet uh, and share this stream if you can. Help get more eyes and ears on it. <clears throat> Smells like piss. Bunch of idiots. This looks like this. Or... Again, so this is the other boys' room. So, so now we know that both boys were actively urinating uh, in their in their That's living area rather than the bathroom. This was another child. That's room. what boys do. Obviously. They just do a piss. That's a cool this toy, man. Just... I wonder if they yeah, just have nothing on their toys. walls. There's no lights in this bathroom, oh, no. but my camera's picking up enough. Oh, yeah, this toilet oh, is... Oh, no. Is that poo-poo? That right there. Is that just, like, oh, no. poo splatter? Yeah, that and looks that's like that's what the... the thumbnail picture comes from, right there. This, so, uh, this is the youngest boy, Zach, the autistic boy's room, and this is, it, this is appalling. I, I'm not sure is what it... happened to cause that but i can tell you that that child probably needed to go to a doctor at some point because holy hell and the fact that that had been sitting there for ages tells you but we already knew a lot of us already knew that shanny didn't give a shit what condition the boys lived in she only cared about being online and getting the affirmation uh, the uh, affirmation that she's always wanted there's some mental illness uh so that with shanny and rev to let this happen like this is this is this you know sucks. what this sucks these these horrible people were obviously feeding their children Chipotle, and this is why this happened. <laughs> <laughs> this confirms yeah, that's, that's a lot a, of what people were dump. It's trying not to tell abuse. her. And then she got, up, she got that's irate that good every time people got brought up her guac. kids and the condition of the kids. She knew that this was going on to some degree. She was fully aware that they were neglecting those kids. And that's why <sighs> she got so upset when other people show concern. Because when other people show concern... I mean, if, if the father is is a drug addict and and maybe in jail and there's shanny and rev you know foster care exists for a reason oh man i i just i just hope that there's a wake-up call now at their new place and they don't let this happen nope. they have checkups and they have to keep it up because they, like this is just they might end up getting sued if there's enough damage here about her kids probably well, the, with CPS all the, the rent they have as well all the back I rent? knew someone, him and his wife and, and their kids trashed the fuck out of the place they lived, and uh, they got sued by the person who owned it. So oh, it happened. That's just been the history of Shanny and children. Oh, come on. Uh. Look at that. Look, that's, that's no! fucking disgusting. This is, this is a child's bathroom. What this is, is that? The youngest, is that her blood? youngest boy, the boys that she loves so much. Not only that, there's and no And she light claims in the to want to protect them too. against the world. And it's this is what she allows to transpire. Look at that stuff. That's disgusting. This person, a lot of people aren't aware of Shanny in the chat. It's like, how'd you guys get here? Um, but yeah, Shanny for Christ. She's like a she's a pseudo religious YouTuber. She claims so to be a, a very Christian this woman. In sync. Oh my fucking she's god! She's like Brett Queen. Look at that. There's, you can see the flies. You can see the flies. She allowed her kid to live like this. 
You can see the fucking flies. And this is more than chipotle guacamole. It's a burrito bowl <laughs> and guacamole. <laughs> Should have ate Qdoba. <laughs> Worst. I noticed the other day I, I was on Mercer Island. Way more people at the Qdoba on Mercer Island than Chipotle. I, I doubt that. <laughs> oh, no. The people on Mercer <laughs> Island have class and sophistication. Crash. What can I say? Uh, the, the line at Chipotle uh, just moves so much quicker that people don't congregate. Just nope. They get in, they nope. get out. Oh, I didn't all say right, they were in line. They this were is, all sitting down the and enjoying video. their meal. Um, it was a ghost town at Chipotle. Yeah, so there's going to be more to come, folks. hear me? Yeah, um, oh, we're just ignoring uh, you. No, oh, yeah. I, I couldn't hear what you were no, saying. No, it's fine. Somebody was just saying I'm muted. I'm just like, uh, oh, they're, yeah. they're, they're joking so. about how you don't talk. There's some stuff happening in the background right now. Don't joke about uh, I'm not going to talk that. about it too much for obvious <laughs> reasons. But, not funny. Uh, something needs to be done. And so. I mean, I realize the plebs who don't live on Mercer Island or Bellevue would uh, like Chipotle better than Qdoba, but some people just are more sophisticated than others. What can I say? Chipotle uh, is for the sophisticated the health so to speak, palette to handle this situation. Uh, <laughs> I'll keep y'all up to date as much as I can. But just know that there are people who are very concerned about this. So, and as Lola you know, said, let it be known this organization no, I, offers... I can't help but think, think about it, too. It's like they probably don't want to live in the other house because it's too small. They live in this big house and they have these like individual fucking rooms that they can have for these kids so they can just ignore them and be like yeah there's your there's your bathroom leave us the fuck alone while we get high in our room like they don't, they probably don't want to move back into the old house because then they're gonna have to deal with all that all the bullshit because it's gonna be way closer to them like you're gonna have to they won't just be able to put it off like oh keep it all upstairs so do we know where this Can't was believe- is this in denver or i'm not sure to help uh, them sell the items they couldn't take, they refused to respond. Yeah, and that's absolutely true. A lot of people witnessed it. When uh, some of us offered to buy a lot of these items to help them, they were not interested because that takes effort, right? Okay, somewhere in Colorado, sure, but that matters as, like as to how much this place costs to rent. If it was out in the middle of nowhere or some little town, then it didn't cost that much but people are saying they had 20 grand in back rent which leads me to leave it was probably somewhere near downtown denver i don't know i think they wrote that song about their roommates back in boulder they're never it was 3k a month we're never that's, getting older. that's insane they must have lived in the middle of downtown yeah they must have lived in aspen <laughs> this is a nice is that place really expensive? Than it i think aspen's really fresh. expensive yeah I, I mean, I know it's a big ski destination, so... Uh, it's yeah, easier just to lie Aspen, to people and to say joking. that they never said this or but they never Aspen's said that. Rich. And that's why a lot of us have to record what they say because now they're lying. I mean, if, if if people know where this is located, they can look it up and there's like, you know, Trulia or, uh, or Redfin. They'll have the property listed and give you like an estimate of what normally rent would be. ...about giving people permission. Literally gave people carte blanche permission to go in, take whatever you want is fine, and then rescind it once people find out that they were neglecting. The I don't play. I don't pay three k a month, so that's insane to think like someone pay three k a month for rent. Children, it's like because they're upset about that. So, anyway, uh, this has been another disturbing example of of what happens when certain people are left to their own devices, but. Rev uh, said they paid 3k a month, so it's trust and believe this will not be the end of it. <laughs> I mean, if it, if it's out there where it is, then people can look it up, and there are websites that'll tell you about what, you know, about what they think it would be worth. Oh man, uh, in 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 Seattle, 3k a month rent isn't unheard of. Depending on where you are, and if you're like in the city, you'll get like a one or two bedroom apartment for three k a month. We pay four k a month, I think, for the. And there's house a bunch of in. you splitting yeah, it. It's a big old spot, though. Yeah, yeah, it's really big. It, it looks like it has a yard too. I've never been back big in the old yard. yard with yeah. a creek in the back, and I yeah. can go roast hot dogs and play fetch or whatever. Yeah, every time I've ever been there, it's been like cold or rainy out, so I've yeah. never been in the backyard. This this will continue, and unfortunately, until something is done. 
they're going to continue to neglect those kids. But yeah, like if you live downtown, like in downtown by the waterfront in Seattle, you'll get like a one bedroom apartment for like three to four K a month. Yeah. Uh, when Le- Leafy is Leafy, here, yeah. lived on the, the Harbor Steps downtown, right down from the Pike Place Market. Uh, he was paying three k a month yep, for yeah. uh, two bedroom, and that was years ago. It's probably yeah, that more. That was uh, like five years ago. Yeah, yeah. The property values have gone way up since then. Yeah, that's just going to be the fact of the matter. But that was like the high this end. This reflects of the, directly the what areas. the parents oh, yeah. and the Absolutely. ex-husband has said about Shani. She does not give a shit about those kids. She is a fucking monster. It's my opinion, but. Okay. Uh, I mean, uh, so Frank is sniping live. Let- she's she's she, I, she's not fit to take care of her children. Yeah, obviously. there's there's a lot of there's a lot of depression and other shit going on here that's keeping this from being uh, in place. Uh, you gotta you gotta you can't look at this and be like, oh, she's just lazy, right? Like, yeah, <laughs> like it, there's something going on yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Let me send it to you all. There it should be on every platform. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, so go. Everyone head over to Frank. Uh, he's doing a little commentary on her live, so y'all don't have to give her any fucking views. So, uh, big thanks to our volunteers. Thanks to Lola Bohemia uh, for helping to uh, orchestrate some of this stuff. Uh, been a big and integral help in this and the continued effort to, for us to try and find some sort of resolution to this. It's not just laziness. PT- yeah, it's it's there's mental illness, too. There's some, yeah. like some issues yeah uh but like i know that's shanny and rev like from the outside we knew there was like some crazy shit going on when they had the police video released of her yeah. getting cuffed up because she was fighting with rev it's like okay there's some depth to this and then this is just a whole nother layer they need some sort of uh certain creators like, real are looking for help, the previous like, video uh, we had edited a little bit and and obviously uh trim out some stuff and then uh, post it back up so that that video premiere earlier uh feel free to use this video as well i had to add some well, some watermarks and stuff to it because well it's funny people who were previously uh, uh simpletons for shanny uh, are now deciding that she's a bad person and now they want to jump on the bandwagon uh with everybody else pointing out the obvious so uh if you're going to use my material to now do that then at least uh, attribute it to me correctly. So there you go. Yeah, we don't know where this material uh, came from. Link, I will post uh, don't, it again. Don't follow anybody go. whose name is on the screen. I'm kidding. It's Dragnut. Like, if you want to find him, find him. If you want to look at more dirt and grime inside Shani's house, I'm sure it'll show up there. I don't know if we'll go back to it unless unless there's either uh, something astoundingly worse to, 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 to create to and comment on or uh, if we find Rev's magic card collection. I want to go back and see yeah. what he's got. <laughs> uh but yeah this is uh this is wild god i didn't i didn't even see how bad it was i just saw it and i was like hey have you been following this ben we've been following shanny and rev for for a while now and you'd only roughly heard of it and so I figured we'd go into it now and yeah. uh, looking back on it it is a lot more sick and sad than uh than i think i was expecting even oh yeah, um, I mean, a couple years ago, we we watched the video, the police body cam video. She got arrested for beating up uh, her man. Rev- Revelation News. Rev News. She she she's she's way bigger than him. <laughs> so she yeah. kicks his ass. Yeah. Apparently, I mean. The cops came, they talked to both of them, and she was the one that got arrested, so. It's pretty mind-blowing. <clears throat> um, Watching this gives me, like, a whole different perspective on, on her, though, because it was like, I just hated her before, because she, you know... She'll she'll call people the N-word and shit like that. Oh, she'll, yeah. she'll be a total cunt, but it's like this takes it to a whole nother level with it you know like uh because she's it's like it's like they're these kids have like prison cells like seriously like i can't believe the kid upstairs the bathroom had no light and so uh, he just you'd goes get a into better this... prison cell in a turkish prison 
Yeah, and then it's just this nasty shit. It's it's horrible. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone please like the stream. Um So what didn't so Shani made a weird accusation towards you, right? Shabisky. Yeah. Yeah, she <clears throat> she claimed I I cuz I fucked with her and trolled her at one point and uh like she you know, I didn't go too far, but she thought just because I was nice to her that I was, like, interested in her. And then next thing you know, she's, like, saying in front of Rev that, oh, who knows? I might leave you, Rev. Like, <laughs> and basically, and then... Um, oh, you <clears throat> know what? I have the video. I have the video. Here it is. Yeah. So, I watched this video, Tragic. And it's Shabisky caught dead to right to rights child grooming with seven eight year old, and I was thinking, you remember like last year how Shabisky was like really coming on to me, and telling me to leave Rev and he'll give me the best sex of his life. I was wondering since yeah. this child grooming thing is coming out on him. She said he'll give me the best the best sex of his life. <laughs> what? Yeah, like very show, kind show me Shabisky. Shani where I said anything like that. <laughs> what if he really wanted to get with me? Not just not to get with me, but to get with my sons. What a sick, twisted because leap of logic to come up yeah. with. It's like at no point that I ever mention her kids to her or care about her fucking kids. Never that I ask her anything about them. But never did, to this conclusion. Never did any of the accusations amount to anything either. Like, like for her to take that stupid video that was put out and and then jump to you want to do things with her children is fucking psycho. It's psycho. Yeah, she's a fucking. It's freak. obvious he attracts young boys my kids' age. She never pronounces the G at the end of words, so she said yun. Yun yeah. boys. Yeah. The only time I've heard her pronounce a G was when she was dropping the bomb on, on G. Huh. That's in the yeah. middle of the word, not at the it's not at, yeah. yeah. So I, I've confirmed, I don't want to like say where, but yeah, it's a it's a wealthy suburb of Denver. It's like just outside of of the city of Denver. <sighs> and um yeah, you're a fucking freak, and your whole crew's a freak. Stay away from me. Stay away from my children. Um, ew. Yeah, no, I think uh, the only reason Shani was talking back to me is because she secretly wants to fucking fuck my grandma. Okay? Th Who doesn't? Yeah. Shibisky, yeah there's I, no, uh, I, I think it's pretty obvious. She She just wants you to come over and clean her bathroom. Yeah, yeah, I'll come over and clean. <laughs> yeah, it'll <laughs> only take a month to clean that place up. Oh God, but that place is—it's it, crazy how how nice of a place they 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 were living in because that's actually a really nice big fucking place, and they just trashed it. Like I I, I envy. Like fuck, I'd love to live in a place like that. Damn. Yeah, it'd be a down. A downgrade from where I currently live because I live in a castle with my my, my good pal. <laughs> but uh, it's a nice place to live. Uh, shout out to um young Mufasa who I I think was joking uh, based on what Shani says says stop attacking her family because she says that all the time. Trap, trap, a lot of people say that. Right. That's a, a, a keyword. She straight that's up a, that's a Brett key. Yeah, exactly. Name. She straight up brought her kids into this for some weird leap of logic to say that Shabisky's a predator for her kids. Like, that's... Yeah. That's so disgusting. Yeah, like it would have made plenty of sense. People do that kind of shit talking, all the time. made pl plenty of sense if it was, when I was talking to her, I kept on asking her about her kids or something. It's like, no, at no point did I ever talk about her kids or mention them or give a flying fuck people, about... People you know, make the conclusion... People make the conclusion first and then fit the story around that to make it true to them. That's that's how it happens. If they want it, if they want to believe it's true, if they want that enough, they'll figure out some way to get there. And it doesn't matter if it makes sense to anyone else but them. And yeah. she's and she's now, now epically stupid, so she can do it easier than most people. Yeah, now the same person who was spreading those lies, she's a, she hates them now. 
it's like she probably kept kept this video up. I don't doubt. I have no you idea. Could, I just searched yeah. I, through a bunch of videos I had downloaded, and it was in there. Here's yeah. uh, see, there's there's Rev. This is a police body cam. No oh, damn. Yeah, it, here's Bam Bam. <laughs> yeah. Is this the same place or is this a different place? I think this might be a different place, but I don't know. Uh, I can't tell either. I don't know why. I have nothing. I, have, I don't even have underwear on. Ugh. This is ridiculous. I get put in jail and he hits me. I get put in jail and he hits me? Well, they must have found out something. I mean... Normally, the the man gets arrested in, in, when there's a fight between a, a man and a woman. So there must he must have had noticeable damage yeah. done to him, and you've got nothing. Right. Cops got there and saw the two of them are like, ah, that doesn't line up. Right. His little ass <laughs> hurt you. This is the hallway. That, no, this is the out, outside. Thank you. Is this the same house? Real quick. I can't you guys tell. Said we just saw? I don't know. It looked kind of like it, but I'm not sure. So you're going to be responsible for the boys tonight, okay? I didn't want to press charges. Do you understand? They're like, doesn't matter. He's like, I don't want to press charges. It's like, okay, well. I understand. Okay. I didn't want to press charges. We know that, but for domestic violence, you know, our hands are kind of tied. Even if you didn't want to press charges. She called the Okay. Did he say his hands were kind of tied or her hams were kind of tied? <laughs> I couldn't, couldn't tell what he said. Can we, can we, like, do something about this? Yeah, we can do no, something about ahead. this. You can get the Ghostbusters to come and uh, stay puff marshmallow your ass in the fucking e ectoplasm meter automatron, whatever the fuck they call that. I'm not a nerd. Go <clears throat> can you take care of my babies? I didn't ask for oh. Take care of my Oh take my baby! Did she say something like "take care of"? My yeah, take care of yeah. my babies. Yeah, like like, how about, like they were ever being taken care of anyway. How about you clean their room? <laughs> she said, "Take care of, take my, care babies, of my babies. Keep them away from Shabisky." <laughs> uh, man, she's such a bitch because she's she's doing that just to put on a show in front of those fucking cops. Take care of my fucking babies. Help yeah. me, then. Up until this moment, when she became a hardened criminal, she was actually Mother of the Year. I don't know if you guys yeah, know that. Uh, yeah, she was the right. president of the PTA, actually. Yeah. Yep. This is from 2019. Yep. May bye, 16, Jason. 2019. This is called MK Ultra, by the way. This is called MK Ultra. <laughs> yes, she literally said this is called MK Ultra. The mind control. The mind control made her beat the fuck out of her boyfriend. Ah, uh, that happens actually. Yeah. I heard. She was the Manchurian can of worms. Singe graphics just point out like a virgin painted white. <laughs> That's there. That was one of the early Shanny memes. Um, she got all it, it. It's so dumb. She was talking about like how pure we were supposed to be before God and shit. It's obviously she didn't practice any of that. Damn. I defend myself as a woman. And she also, uh, another thing she was recognized for early on was, she was like, I don't believe in the moon. I don't think it, I, I just think it's like a light source or something. Yeah. I think I remember that. It's like, Sounds familiar. you can literally <clears throat> see the moon and people have landed on it. And what's more to the story, he hits me, I defend myself. Huh? He's he's refusing to press charges to keep you out of jail, and you're fucking making up a story saying he hits you to get him in trouble instead of you. That is beyond the pale. That is beyond the fucking pale, right there. He's trying. He's trying to save your ass, man. I think he would have went to jail uh, instead of her. Like he would have taken it for her. Red is no prize, but he can do better. He could do better ah. than Shanny. He doesn't want better. This is his. This yep. is his virgin in the white. I 
just want to go to sleep. That's all I wanted was to go to sleep. Before you want to go to four o'clock five. You know, no, I'm gonna be up all night and be stuck in a room full of fucking weird chicks. I don't want to be. Oh no, no, you're leaving that place. That's that's your home. Yeah. You're going to jail, which is actually probably nicer, considering we saw where you live. Like weird chicks. Like, fucking compared to your place, jail is like the Ritz Carlton. At least you'll have clean clothes and clean sheets. I just want to sleep. Fibromyalgia and the heart problem. Oh, the no. The fibromyalgia and the heart problem coming into place. Damn. Poor Shan. This appeal to the right cop sensibilities. Yeah. <clears throat> Trying to make them feel bad. Feel bad for me. I'm overweight. My arms kind of hurt. I'm I tired. feel like cuffing her is like not necessary. Like I don't know. Maybe I I'm think, wrong. I think that's regulation for pretty much everybody. Yeah. She's just such a a lump of a human. I'd be worried she'd trip and like fall on her face because of how big she is. And she wouldn't be able to brace her fall and just crack her shit open. Seems unsafe for somebody that size to have their hands cuffed behind their back. There's no way those cops are catching her if she goes down, you know? No. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Clean clothes and uh, I'm, I'm addressing the, the fan chat. Yeah, she she doesn't wear clean clothes ever. So she'll have cleaner clothes in jail when she first gets there. Yes. <laughs> the environment's going to be cleaner. The toilet's going to be clean. The, the bathtub. The beds are going to be clean. The bathtub will somehow <clears throat> be dirty, though. She'll trash the fuck out of her jail cell. Yeah. We poop everywhere. I kicked it up. I have five hundred. Oh damn. I literally kicked it up in this without you gotta take out these handcuffs. I can't get up without this. I literally can't and you won't do it. I can't get up. Yeah. They probably have to call the paddy yeah, wagon in for her transport to jail. She's such a complainer. Okay, don't no, no. no. Oh they, they do have the it. wagon, don't they? Let's go back over the <clears throat> The ambulance to come out here. Oh, please take this off. It hurts. Ah, what hurts? Like at, uh, the the <clears throat> cuffs? I don't know. I'm guessing she's talking about the cuffs. She's asking him to take them off, but. Yeah, like, she can't have her arms behind her back when she's sitting either. She's so big, she's going to break her wrist. Can you just take off me? I promise. I cannot take more than that. Please, please. We already have him doubled up. It hurts so bad. Please get this off me. Can we get the ambulance to get here? I don't deserve this. Possibly take him off. Uh, just take me to the mental ward instead. I'd rather go. The mental ward. This would be a good time to 5150 yourself, right? <laughs> Bad. Do they have to oh. take you to fifty one fifty if you threaten harm on yourself? Like I have no idea. I don't so know how please, that works. It's so tight. This hurts so bad, please. What hurts right now? My back and my shoulders. I have fibromyalgia. This is hurting like hell. Okay. Please help me. I can't get a strap like this back here like this. Yeah. I need the I wouldn't work. be surprised if she was in tons of pain here. Like when you're just that big and you're not used to having your body move any of these ways. All the stress on top of that. She could be suffering terribly. That's that's unfortunate. Um, I don't know. I'm not buying it. Speaking as a morbidly We don't obese want any American. of your fat empathy, all uh, right? For one, I am the foremost leading fat empathist. 
I know you in are. the United States. Thank you. So I'm a professional here. Yeah, front cuffer. Yeah, I don't know. Is, is there some more content we can go to? Because this is just... I don't want to watch Shani whimper and cry. I don't even think it's real whimpering. Yeah, I like, don't think it's real. It. You're you're buying she's into just it. Putting just because she's fat. If, if you guys would like to make some jokes or something to lighten this up, go ahead. Just because she's I, fat. I'm I'm out of this she, conversation. <laughs> she's putting on a stupid ass show to try to make the cops yeah. feel bad for feel bad God, for this me. Goes on forever. <laughs> yeah, I can't I can't oh, I can't yeah. lighten this oh. up. Yeah, Poor it's shit. probably fake. But fine, Billy. Fine, go ahead and read the Streamlabs, please, if you if you could. Yeah. Matthew Krecklau is going to be in Tennessee open mic. I can't tell you when because damn Streamlabs hasn't refreshed. Uh, <coughs> but I know <clears throat> Matthew uh, sent in Nashville open mics. Matthew Krecklau, Tennessee, June twenty third through July seventh. Barry Gaming says you guys should pull up the video of that Mike Perry bar fight. Who's Mike Perry? I don't even know. I'm a boom. I'm a boomer. <clears throat> Matthew Krecklau said, and I, I, I will always love Shenny. Thank you, Matthew Krecklau. Lord of Nurgle said, I recently sat my coworker down and just showed him the 30-minute dank net video on Jared Genesis. He couldn't believe that it was about a real person. Yep. Yeah, there's some cute characters out there. Uh, biological dad is a meth head from your internet friend. That's yep, rough. Yep. Uh, talking about the uh, the room was uh, the rooms that were having piss beds from the kids' rooms. That sucks. I was a I was a bedwetter when I was a little boy. Uh, we we definitely didn't let that sit and fester. I had to go uh, walk nine miles to the store to buy a box of Tide every time I pissed the bed. It's punishment. Mike Perry's a UFC fighter. Interesting. Okay. Uh, the person had permission from the owner. Shani called the cops and falsely said the person broke in and ransacked the place and did all the damage. Thank you, your internet friend, Irish Devil. Uh, Chube gave that big love and uh, Ash gave that big love. And that locks us in with the donos tonight. Cool. Thank you all very much. Uh, yeah, we'll move on to something else in a minute here. Uh, just adding some stuff to oh. the playlist here. Mm. Mm. Icky. Mm. Hope everybody had a fun time delving into the... It's 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 something. The world, which is... Shanty not, for Christ. Not your life. Thank, thank goodness nobody out there Hopefully. Is, is living that life. It's a... It's, it's, it's not the life. Here's our buddy Spexo. Spexo. Ah, finally. <clears throat> finally. I continue to be the most oppressed, persecuted person on the face of the planet. You think so? When I go to the gym, I hate it when somebody else is using the piece of equipment that I intended to use. I shouldn't have to live. Look at his fucking steering wheel. Look at the other side of it. <laughs> it's it's it looks like he jerks off and wipes the cum there. That is it gross. Solidify. Damn, Papa. He, it looks like it has Spexo on it. That's got some Spexo. Everyone go to Urban Dictionary or just Google Spexo and go to the Urban Dictionary page for it. Do you think Spexo's trolling right now saying, I shouldn't have to wait to use the, well, the that's, equipment at the gym? That's kind of his. That's kind of the thing for a lot of these people because they can fall back on just joking, but yeah. really not, but maybe just joking, but seriously, I'm not. Every once in a while, complain about something so asinine. Yeah. He was joking. Okay. <clears throat> like this. You know an American Psycho where he's like, uh, I'm almost at the verge of tears because I don't think we're going to have a good seat, but we do, and a wave of relief washes over me in an awesome way. That's how I am when I go to the gym. I'm convinced that somebody's going to be on the piece of equipment that I want to use. His beard makes his head look like a big rectangle because it's wide. And when there isn't, and it's free, and I could use it and do my routine without any interruptions, then an awesome wave of relief washes over me. Really oh, so you're an anxiety-ridden bitch. Okay. That's <laughs> fine. I, I get so mad. When I'm king, you're not, you're not going to be allowed to go to the gym. When you're king, how, what are you going to do? 
bow right. down to Nick Fuentes every four, four, 45 minutes. Suck yeah. his little pecker because yeah. you're king. He'll be the king and Nick Fuentes will be the pope. Yeah, you're a you're a bitch boy. You're a Nick Fuentes bitch boy. You're not going to be the king. This is so stupid. It's going to be completely illegal. And I don't always go to the gym at the same time. So when I decide to go to the gym, you're going to have to just make sure that, you know, King Spex always is going to the gym. Yeah, why don't you I have your own fucking gym, jackass? Yeah, if you're a home king, gym. If you're a king, you'd have your you own gym. You goofball. Honestly, not even if you're a king. If you're this ass tight about going and sharing equipment with people, get your own equipment, oh, you fucking knucklehead. Billy, Billy, he's just joking. He's just oh, joking. Okay, I forgot. Yeah, he's, he's so, just trolling. He's trolling. Just trolling, guys. I'd still be going to like a public gym and not just like own my. Yeah, and Alpha would be able to get their own gym. Like, I'm the king of the, yeah. I'm the king of the country. This guy's a beta. What I say goes, but I still I still need to pay for my gym membership. My hair looks really good right now. Anyway, Does it? So I don't know if it's like a generational thing, or maybe I'm just too old and I don't understand this whole like Zoomer mentality of like online e drama and talking shit. It's like so bizarre and foreign to me, but. Once again, I am kind of being pulled into some nonsensical stuff. It's not really that big. I don't think too many people uh, know about it. But three different people messaged me from two separate group chats that I used to belong to. So basically what happened is somebody figured out that I was following my wife's old Instagram account that I forgot I was even doing. I don't even follow her new one because she had an old one that she hasn't used since like 2019. And she lost the password and the login information and stuff. So she made a new Instagram account. So apparently on my political religious Instagram account on Spexo, I was following my wife's old account. So I guess they looked through who I was following and found that there was pictures of me with my wife there. And then I guess they Googled her name and found our private uh, family YouTube. So I had three separate people randomly send me a link to one of my videos. It was the same video too. So I don't know if they've seen all the videos, but they sent me this one video. Of Man, this is such a long story. Yeah, just tell everybody that he's, I don't know, a sucker. Of, uh, the end goal me is. and my family going to Brazil to visit my wife's family in Brazil. And uh, so I was like, oh, okay. I guess they found my private YouTube channel somehow. So I went on and I deleted everything. How and is it a private before, YouTube if they can find it? Like, yeah. It wasn't private. What I was it just, just thinking. It wasn't the one you were promoting your stupid fucking slanderous political garbage on. It was just it was just a, a a family YouTube that you had you and your family on, and people found it because well, that's how the internet works, jackass. If it was private, they wouldn't be able to find it. That does your personal YouTube, personal family YouTube. Of course, you don't want it to happen, but you allowed it to happen. You dumb shit. You but left it on the internet. Not like nothing is going to happen to me. But I also don't want people like making edits of my family or. Well, posting uh, now I want people to make edits like, of right, your family sucks, only I mean, because I don't. Uh, only because uh, I think that it's probably more entertaining than the stupid video you had up in the first place. I don't. I still don't. Even if it is more entertaining. Get too far out there, but whatever. For the like, record, I literally shrugged it off because, as I've said multiple times, obviously I know the risks involved of showing my face. Talking about my political yeah, he said he he said his wife's from Brazil. <laughs> a, a lot of people from Brazil ha come from a very mixed background. Mm -hmm. I mean, like interracial marriage was never illegal in Brazil, like it was here for a really long time. So, hmm, just saying. Not that there's anything wrong with that. I'm just has she have Spexo has she had a DNA test? America first, but let's get my wife from Brazil. Right. Because America doesn't care about me. Religious views, Loser. and that a lot of people will disagree with me and not like me for them. And they're like... So maybe he is Trumpster Bob's son. He outsourced his wife from Brazil. Trumpster Bob's outsourcing his uh, potential wife from Nigeria. That's, all these people love America, but they can't find love in America. That's heartbreaking. Shabisky... Did you ever find love in America? Yeah. See, that's because we're real Americans. Yeah, we're real we're, Americans. We're real Americans, Shabisky. This guy's fake.
He's fake American. He don't love he's America. A, he's obviously a beta because he, has, he yeah. can't even get his own fucking shit for, for exercising. Yeah, can't beta, get his own... beta can't even have his own damn home gym. Got to go to the public yeah. gym. And then <laughs> on top of that, not just take whatever machine you want. You have to be butthole, swole, titan, crybaby about somebody sitting on your lifter. Get the hell out of here, dude. Get the <laughs> hell out of here. Sitting on your lifter. I don't. I don't know gym equipment names. Uh, I'm just assuming one of them is yeah, a lifter. That's funny. Sitting, sitting, sitting on, on your, your lifter. lifter? Uh, I, I was. Uh, uh, I was watching. I, I don't know how. Uh, like I ended up, but I ended up uh, on the uh, stream that I was on the first time ever. On you know coming on DP. Yeah. And uh, it was so there was. Uh, you said uh, skank yogurt on that episode. <laughs> we were talking about uh, the guy on TYT. Skank yeah. yogurt, yeah, that was uh, yeah, skank yogurt from the from the Young Turks. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I started yeah, I like really mispronouncing fun. his name as many ways possible, but then I ran out of clever ways to say it. Skank yogurt it should just be the name forever. That's a good yeah, name. I, li- I like it. Shout out to Skank Yogurt. Uh, yeah. You're a you're a hypocrite. You're married to a Brazilian. You claim you're America first. This is gonna be so bad for your brand. I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, bad for my brand. What the fuck is my brand? Secondly, I've literally openly talked about it in my videos multiple times. Here's a few clips, and the first clip is from like November first. And I'm like, oh yeah, my wife uh, is an immigrant from Brazil. And then they'll be like, oh, so your wife's not white? And I'm like, well, she's Italian. She just was living in Brazil. Her great grandparents immigrated to Brazil from Italy. Her great grandparents. All right. And uh, so, yeah, she is white. And they're like, oh, uh, they'll either say, well, uh, Italian. I mean, if so, her great grandparents. So someone from one side of her family is the rest of her family from Brazil or all of her great grandparents all happen to all move there from Italy. I don't I don't buy that. I'm guessing one because you have four sets of great grandparents. OK, so did they all come from Italy or did just one of them come from Italy and the rest were already in Brazil? Uh, I mean, see. Uh, you could tell there's a problem with our boy Spexo because he just feels the need to address this to people publicly. I know. It's your wife, dude. You love her, right? Yeah. Who cares? Right. Well, I care. I have to let people know that, you know, she's a, she's Italian and not anything else. There are a lot of Italians that live in Brazil. I went Because I went to a Catholic school, we got a ton of Brazilian exchange students every year. And a lot of them did have Italian last names. But, I mean, that that could have just been on their father's side, and that's why they had the last name. You know, people have been father. living in South America for just as long as they've been living in North America, and 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 there were indigenous people there, too. They just didn't have a lot of the weird racist laws that we had in North America. ...aren't white either, or they'll say, well, she's an immigrant, and you're supposed to be against immigration, so that makes you a hypocrite. It's like, no, because it would make me more of a hypocrite if I endorsed something that was a net negative to my nation simply because it was positive on my individual life. I uh, eventually found my wife, and I didn't think she was a real person. I thought she was like a robot, like one of those like webcam girls, like, oh, come to my webcam page or whatever, because she was really, really pretty. She was way too pretty to be on social media or whatever. And um, it turns out she was an Italian immigrant from Brazil. And uh, so... No, she's not an I- she's not an immigrant from Italy. You're making mm. it sound like she's from Italy. She's from Brazil. You said her great grandparents. I I'd be able to say that I'm that I'm a Polish immigrant, if that's the case. Like it. it <laughs> I was mess- no no. She was born in Brazil, and probably a good chunk of her family is Brazilian. Was from Brazil. I started messaging her. We hit it off. We went on a date. Uh, we got along amazingly. And, uh, you know, seven months later, <laughs> I asked her to marry me. And um, a year later, we had our first baby, and we just had our second baby in December. And over the last four years that we've been together, I've, um, you know, obviously became a devout Catholic. I got my wife to become a Catholic. Um, you know, we got married in church. We both I'm got confirmed. She wasn't and, already uh, Catholic because she's from Brazil. 
uh, we're raising our children to be uh, to live you know Christian lifestyles and you know I've grown with my wife and it's uh, my family is my biggest accomplishment what's basically happening is we are becoming Brazil and a lot of people don't really notice I've seen this firsthand because my wife's family lives in Brazil my wife is Italian and basically what happened is after no, the she's Brazilian and stuff all <laughs> she's and not just Italian. All the, the black slaves and everybody started mixing and everything like that there was a large percentage that started mixing that's why there's so many mixed people uh, and castizas and stuff like that in Brazil but you also had like the German and uh, Dutch and Italian immigrants that were in Brazil basically condensed towards the south. So this was basically a conversation I just had. Somebody messaged me and was like, you're a hypocrite. I was like, how? He was like, you're dating a, a Brazilian immigrant. I was like, yeah, that's not news. That's I've talked about that multiple times. My wife is ethnically Italian. She lived in Brazil and moved to America. They were like, she's not white. She can't even speak English. And I was like, her language My wife speaks English. She just has an accent. She she's Man, literally Man, here's the thing, Italian. dude. This is your wife, your family. You're over here complaining about people finding your personal YouTube videos. I, yeah. And then you're spending all this time telling the world all about them. They don't need to know. Yeah, you didn't even have to talk about this. This is your personal fucking life. Tell people to fuck off. Say, hey, yeah, I believe in ethnic cleansing or whatever the hell you believe in, <laughs> but who cares what I put my penis in? JF Garropy made a whole career off of it and slammed in all types of fucking uh, different races. And he didn't say like a lot of people usually do when they're like, oh, Italians aren't white. He was like, then why doesn't she learn Italian if she's Italian? I was like, because she's from Brazil. He was Which like, means so she's not Italian. She has Italian ancestry. <laughs> she's Brazilian. She's Latina. I was like, do you not understand the difference between like race ethnicity and nationality she's racially european ethnically italian and nationally uh, brazilian that's like as if she, if her family has been in brazil if she's like the fourth generation from even if all of her great grandparents all of them came from italy which i doubt even if that was true She's fourth generation. I mean, like, something else got in there. There's probably a big Italian community in Brazil, you there said, are, right? Yeah. So maybe they stuck to their uh, own. You know, it's possible. It's only a few generations. And he said she's racially European, uh, ethnically Italian, and nationally Brazilian. Okay, here's the big thing, though. I don't fucking care, dude. You said you want to keep your family life off the internet. Keep them off the internet, you fucking gomer. You over here spilling all this info. On, like, you're trying to impress people who think you're not racist enough. You know how stupid that is? If you're great, if all four of your great grandparents come, <laughs> it just it just it doesn't add up. The math doesn't work. It just, me, maybe maybe me. all four of his great grandparents were the grandparents from Willy Wonka's Charlie Bucket's grandparents, and they all shared the same bed and bedpan and cabbage soup, and that's why they're all the same lineage because they shared the same damn bedroom. Irish and German or something because my Willy ancestors Wonka's? immigrated from uh, Germany and Ireland. Charlie Bucket, I'm no longer German and Irish. Like it's the same thing. Like do you yeah, not you're not. You you have ancestry. Have you ever even been to those countries? I mean. <laughs> Do you know anyone from that actually lives in those countries? Know the history. It, it's literally just ancestry. Ancestry doesn't matter that much if you don't have anything to do with what what life is like in those places today. He's going through a lot of hoops here to just not tell us that he's married to Whoopi Goldberg. <laughs> Brazil. He helps her shave her eyebrows. <laughs> About the Portuguese and the Dutch and Germans and Italians immigrating to Brazil. It was like, oh, how can you be America first but marry an immigrant? I was like, yeah, I'm against immigration, like I've said multiple times. Like, I, I want all immigrants deported except for my wife. <laughs> Maybe that makes me a hypocrite. But that doesn't make me a hypocrite. It would make me more of a hypocrite if because something worked out for me because I married an immigrant, that that changes my my political stances and now I just want to destroy borders also Vincent James's wife is from Brazil when I saw him at AFPAC we talked about it from that long so these people from that like, long oh, bro, your whole brand is compromised now you say you support America first your yeah, brand has been else. compromised if you if if your brand was Spexo and your product was shit I would go find another pile of shit to purchase 
was like, oh, Beardson was right. You're, you're putting your family at risk. How? Nobody is at risk. I feel like, like, I get the whole, like, oh, you shouldn't uh, be out there with your political views and show your face if, like, you know, you can get, like, fired from your job or kicked out of your school or something like that or whatever. But I have been doing this for, I've been showing my face for over two years. I've been politically Yeah, involved. Nick is going- more alpha than Spexo, which is crazy because Nick is a power bottom, loves to back it up into Catboy's massive cock tower. But, but shit. Spexo is such a beta little bitch. Underneath that beard, he probably has like the most recessed gomer chin. Didn't he shave it once? I can't yeah. remember. Yeah, he messed up his beard, so he ended up just doing a beard reset. Yeah, maybe he's. I don't remember him that bad of a chin. I just. I, he, he just. It, he. It took like 20 years off of his face. He looked like uh, a fucking 15 year old. He was all like baby faced and shit. Seven years before I even had an Instagram, before I was even on social media, I mentioned three different Trump rallies. I went to side. I like how this is his. The, the, this is his brag. You know. Street uh, protests. I'm planning on going to this men's march against abortion in June if my work schedule permits it. The point is, I. You didn't end up going to the Capitol thing though. You had something else going on, so you didn't go. Yeah. I wonder if you would have went. I wonder if you could have resisted the urge to go in there. I bet you would have. Everybody that knows me knows my political and religious views. Nothing is hidden. As I've already stated, I have assessed the risks as a grown-up, as an adult, and decided I am fine sharing my political and religious views because... Okay, I'm done with him. I'm, yeah. I'm tired of him today. Goodbye, alt-right psycho. All right, here's here's Trumpster Bob. Okay. <laughs> this is Spexo. <clears throat> what? This, this, this is no different than Spexo. When he dies, he's Spexo's his hair, dad. Yeah, he looks like a, a little buddy cop. Like if, if Spexo and Trumpster Bob in the remake of Twins, can somebody <laughs> can somebody Photoshop that, please? Like Put Spexo on as Arnold of- Schwarzenegger and yes. Trumpster Bob on as Danny DeVito. Reminds me of Pokemon. Like, who's that Pokemon? Yeah, it was Trumpster Bob evolves into Spexo, and Spexo evolves into an actual pile of shit with a beard. Yeah. It's Trumpster Bobmon. Oh, my God. Like, putting a spy device on your loved one, like, three, four, five of them. Like, big deal, right? You would think. I mean, my thing is, if your partner is committed to you and they're not going to cheat on you, then why the fuck would they worry about a spy device? <laughs> no, he, okay, so he's pro spy device. And he said, you know, put a spy device on you, like three, four, five spy devices. <laughs> this is this is how conservatives used to defend the Patriot Act back during the Bush administration. They'd be like, well, if you're not committing a crime, why do you care if they're spying on you? It's the same school of thought. <clears throat> mm. Are they that insecure? They, they, they think you can't handle a conversation. With their girlfriend, like, you know, if I had a spy device on my woman, or vice versa, because I might say something that... If someone had a spy device on Trumpster Bob, it would just show him going back and forth to the convenience store to buy Keystone lights. Yeah. She may not... And then to jail also every now and then. Not like, but she can't tell me that because she only heard it through a spy device. I'm talking about to other guys. Oh, man, I got her up last night. She did this. She did that. Oh, my God. And she did that again. Didn't even wipe it off. And I'm like, motherfucker. This bitch done went crazy on me, boy. <laughs> oh, fuck. So a guy is going to have this conversation at a bar with another guy at some point in time, whether it's a past love or current love or whatever. Generally, I'm not going to have this discussion with a current love. But some guys will. And I guess they're the ones that are worried about having a spy device on them to where she can hear what the fuck he's saying while he's at the fucking local bar or pub or whatever, right? I'm not worried about it. I mean, if I get with a woman 
And she says, Bob, I got five spying devices on you. Don't let me catch you fucking around on me. Oh, five of five? them? Why? Why not just one? <laughs> Three, yeah. four, five? What are they all doing? And what do you mean by spying devices? It means like cameras, microphones, microphones or just cameras, GPS? Cameras, hacking your phone to follow your phone. Have one of those teddy bears at the bar that has a camera in its little belly. Okay, I don't give a fuck. Because I'm not everywhere. fucking around on my lover, right? So what the fuck am I worried about? See, this is why I question whether or not Bob's straight. Because Bob referred to his presumable girlfriend as lover. Only people who don't plan on making love to, to people of a certain sex, opposite sex, say lover instead of my, my woman. My, why make, uh, I don't pl plan on cheating on my woman. Bob, in his mind, is thinking about that Nigerian scammer not being a woman, but a big, burly pirate. <laughs> a pirate. But what if you're a woman and you're scared of a spy device being placed on your person? And you confront your man about it. Is, isn't that like kind of admitting that you're going to fuck around on your partner? So? You just, as long as they don't know about it, she it never gonna happened fuck around because on you, they yes. don't know about it. Until they find out they got some kind of fucking disease that ain't a virus. Ain't a virus? There's a lot of them out there. Oh my God, there's so many of them out there. So my thing is this. If you're not bad mouthing your your spouse if you're never cheating on your spouse if you're never doing anything against your spouse then why in the fuck would you worry about your spouse having a spy device on you i mean the way my brain thinks the only motherfucking the way my brain thinks he should never start a sentence yeah. that way we're worried about a spy device is if they're the ones who want to fucking cheat. I guarantee you, if the government, especially under Joe Biden, wanted to put a spy device on Trumpster Bob, they're like, hey, you know, you've been in jail recently. We want to put a spy device on you. And if you don't want it, it probably means you want to break the law sometime soon. I guarantee you Bob would not like that at all. So, put an ankle monitor on you. I just hope that Trumpster Bob doesn't actually have a real-life girlfriend. I hope it's a scammer. I think it is, or a troll, but it could... What if that's real love and he's got to move to Nigeria and he doesn't? he's not the king of Texas anymore? Good, goodbye. I'll be heartbroken. You think they'll have good internet in Nigeria? He'll be able to upload videos still? I think uh, the punishment for calling 911 there might be worse. <laughs> yeah, we won't be able to leave the state, will he? Hello, I am the European and I make videos that matter to you. Thank you for watching. Now, for the past few years, the media are engaging more and more in an activity that they call fact-checking. But in many cases, they don't check facts at all. It much more looks like they are putting the label fact-checking on their reports to push a narrative and to make us believe that we are no longer allowed to question their statements. I, this is the European. I, I know you haven't been to Europe before, Billy, so I'll, I'll let you in on a secret. Only one person lives there. Really? This guy, yeah. You go there a lot. You like this guy? Uh, you know, he has his charm. Huh. Um, and the food must be really good. Uh, yeah, he's, go he's a decent cook. He's a decent huh. cook. Uh, but yeah, this is this is the European, so it's pretty cool. Because then, then we would be denied. Then I uh, the the wood starts uh, here real soon, so I guess I gotta move over there. Cool you're guy. You're not allowed. Wow, Shabisky. Are you guys gonna miss me? Uh, not no, because you're not leaving. I can't leave. No. Look. What? You're here. If you leave. <laughs> We're going to replace you with Shani, and she's going to say anything she wants about you. 
And we're going to call no, her no, all the claims. Don't do that. No. <laughs> no way we're doing that. Don't let her on. She'll show her titty or something and oh. get you in trouble. Yeah. Wow. Can, can she lift them up high enough anybody. to get them on camera? In yeah. The truth. She's an underwater that cam. It's not good. The media don't have the copyright I'm not, on truth. I'm not leaving a minute, they, I the guess media you. over at the wood want you to leave. Do you don't you hear this guy? We're fact checking you right now, Shabisky. Yeah. <laughs> have got all kinds of interests. 420 that the fans, Shabisky, want you to stay here. That's the perfect number, too. You should do a dab in honor of the 420 fans. You're probably going to have to. Uh, let's yeah. do it. Do it. it. You're I'll probably going to have leave. to. Before you leave, <clears throat> why were you, Shabisky? I you know, would just I invited, never leave. I invited Pimp Monk to come on the show so that it, with Shabisky, he, he didn't he didn't get back to me until we were like already live. I just noticed it recently. But I was going to have him promote his stream so that they could, like, run into doing their stream, like, immediately so that some of the, the 420 viewers would go over there. But that didn't yeah, happen. That Damn. Cool. Yeah, but you guys aren't allowed to go now. You're nah. stuck here with us. I mean, he. I, I even have him in the call here, too. He was called. He could have jumped into this dick. call at any time. Expected better. Wow. You got, you know, I'm just going to say this, Shabisky, Pimp Monk, you're kind of like the rev to Pimp Monk's shanty for Christ, and you've just left a whole bunch of shit here in our house. Right. You've just left We're piles. getting evicted because of you. Yeah. All, all because of this, this shit mess the two of you left in our house. Jeez Louise. Come on, do the dab. Do the dab, and we'll discuss this. Do it. Come on. Dab Bisky. Come on. Wow. Dab Bisky. Wow. Wow. Do the dab. Do the dab. Okay, I just had to heat up the nail. <clears throat> You're a liar. Do the dab. Guys, hit the like button, guys, for the dab. Hit the like Cheers, button. Cheers, you guys. Like wow. it up, Papa. Cheers. This is a guy right here that can do a dab. His name, Shabisky. Nope. His game, dabbing. Doing the dabs. And torturing lizards. Doing the dabs. Look at that dab. Oh, my gosh. Dude, your rig is on fire. Woo. Your rig is on fire. <clears throat> I have to wake up early tomorrow and take my Ooh. car into the shop. Yeah. Mm. Not looking forward to that. All right. Ah, that was a nice dab. All right. You you pretty, you right, pretty I'm gonna, solid. Shibisky. I'm gonna move over to the wood. You're going. You can't say where you're going. Okay. You just gotta leave. You you you're not allowed. Gotta leave. You, you, you can't say where you're going. All right. You can't say. All right. Kisses, we don't guys. Know, I'll miss you guys. You don't know where no, Shabisky's no, going. No, I hang up on you, <laughs> oh, motherfucker. No. Kiss kiss. I back, hang though, up Shibisky. on you, motherfucker. Kiss, kiss back. Kiss back. Everyone, please like the stream, and we'll we'll watch this European, the European. Say the things they say, and the media should never bring us, the public, in a position where we feel inhibited to express our opinions. That is plainly wrong. Now, if plainly you think wrong. that it is important to stay critical towards the mainstream media, then please smash that like button and subscribe her to my channel. It would really help me to grow my channel and make more videos like these. Right, now, goof. with that out of the way, let's continue to the fact checking in the mainstream media. Now, last week, there was this whole matter of Joe Biden test driving this Ford F-150 truck. And many people believed that Joe Biden did not drive that vehicle himself. And they suggested that there was a second steering wheel, which was operated by the security guy next to the president. Now in my have previous seen, video. Have you seen this video of Joe Biden dri driving a truck? No. What the hell? Why didn't we not hear about this video of normally, Joe Biden driving a truck? Normally, if you're the president, you're not allowed to drive. Yeah, he was test driving. Okay. I have explained why I think 
there is not a second steering wheel. I have studied and shown oh, you the oh. footage of that matter in great detail. Oh, look at Joe Biden driving a truck. Who the hell? They're, they're saying there's a second steering wheel. Why are they thinking that he couldn't drive this truck? And to me, it looks much more like there are a camera and some kind of eye Hmm. iPad on the dashboard and under a very particular angle these two objects line up in a way that creates the impression that the security guy is operating a small steering wheel. Now the point is <laughs> you can agree with me and you cannot agree with me and if it's my call you are free to express your opinion about the who cares why is it important that it had a, another steering this matter wheel? in public we don't have to agree but but why does it matter even if he did or if he did we should always be open yeah, to each get... other's ideas maybe i made a mistake maybe you made a mistake we can only find out by having a dialogue. Yeah, but but we, we, sh we should stop that dialogue once somebody has proven themselves to be obnoxiously wrong all the time. Right. Like, and then, and then you're like, okay, you're gonna have to earn your way back up to the dialogue now. We don't just listen to everybody just because they want to talk. It's not that sort of soapbox. So is the thing like, oh, Joe Biden wasn't actually driving, the the other guy was driving. I, I, who I guess, cares? yeah, I guess the guy on the side had an RC remote controller and they were doing wheelies. I don't like the... The media are more and more doing is they try to terminate our dialogue. They first suppress contrary voices and then they publish their version of the truth which they call a fact check and as of then that is the only opinion that you are allowed to have i think i can demonstrate this pretty clearly by it's it gets annoying to me when people talk with their hands this much yeah. when they're really doing it for dramatic effect i get it but every fucking syllable he goes like this it's really annoying it's very forced. Using the matter of the second steering wheel during Joe Biden's test drive okay. as an example. When the suggestion of a second steering wheel during the F-150 test drive of Joe Biden popped up, the initial response of all the big, powerful social media platforms like Facebook was rather dictatorial. Messages suggesting that there was a second steering wheel were removed from Facebook and labeled as misinformation. What? You are Facebook. Your entire platform is full of misinformation. <laughs> 24 hours a day and you don't do anything about it. That's so the nice question point. is... <laughs> yeah, I mean, if that is still there, yeah. I mean, I don't seek that shit out, so I don't know if that's still there, but I think they're more looking for political misinformation than shit like that um i don't know is if people say that it's all because zuckerberg got grilled by the government that's why and if, it's more about political stuff if somebody puts political or health misinformation there's an immediate problem if somebody talks about the world being flat like the only problem you have is you're creating more stupid people and there's i mean the amount of people that unironically preach that shit is so small. There was a second steering wheel during Joe Biden's test drive of the F-150, and that claim were to be untrue, which I think it is, then why would you remove that specific statement from your platform while at the same time you allow millions of other untrue statements on your platform every single day? So, what is the difference? What is the harm? What is the... Yeah, uh, I just said that a moment ago. Uh, presidents are not allowed to drive. Yeah, but they can drive on private property. Private they just can't property. drive on public yeah. property. Damage in people wrongfully claiming... Right. 
to a, a driver after their president. Yeah, and, uh, Nixon did that. You got to uh, waive your rights to like, well, all your rights, I think. I think Nixon waived all of it, like Secret Service and all that shit. Yeah, because he was like, that, that, oh, I'm going to bounce out. There is a second steering wheel Leave in that alone. vehicle. But removing these messages from platforms like Facebook was only the beginning because then... After the social media platforms suppressed, removed, and censored, if you will, the claims about the second steering wheel, then came the fact checks to top it off. Because it's no longer enough to remove dissident voices, it's also needed that we only believe one version of the truth. Now, the fact checks done in this case by the mainstream media platforms were very, very poorly executed. Let me show you the fact check done by USA Today. So, this is the so-called fact check done by USA Today. USA Today. USA Today. USA Today. USA Today. USA Today. I can't say it clearly enough. I believe there was no second steering wheel in the Ford F-150 it doesn't matter that if Joe was. Biden was testing. Okay, I'm done with it. Yeah, none of it this, doesn't matter. Like, like, who cares if right. there was a second steering wheel? Is this just people trying to discredit Joe Biden's ability to, to operate a vehicle? I think, but... So fucking the weird. President, I, I don't know. Dude, I mean, my, my nana is older than Biden, and she drives her car. Like, I, I thought maybe when we saw the video of Biden driving, maybe he would have been doing, like, wheelies or something, something cool. Like doing some cool uh, figure eight donuts or something. He was just driving the car. We are going to uh, temporarily open up the floor for some Q&A while I step out of the room for a moment here. So we will put, uh, we'll, we'll do that now. Okay, Q&A guys in the fan chat, ask some questions. I'll give some answers. Let's go. Uh, what's my favorite food? Uh, I like a nice steak. I like a nice steak. Dave says, Billy, new, mu new Billy music win. If you want to fund my new album, you can be executive producer and we can make all the money off of it together. Uh, executive says, Billy, will you marry me? Definitely not. I'm saving myself for death. Uh, Boobery says, how's it hanging, Billy? Low, I hope, or maybe high. What would be better? Oh, sh I don't know. Uh, my my tiny little pecker just rests on top of my gigantic balls. I'm kidding. That was a little too much. My 14-year-old nephew is in the chat and says, when's my Chipotle, Billy? Sorry, I said the balls thing right before that. Uh, the Chipotle. I don't know. Let's go to Chipotle. DJ Crypto's Rock says, what is love? Baby, don't hurt me. But when's my Chipotle? Is that is that even a thing? I'm a little confused. I need my story of running for POTUS in 2012 for 2020 and having my life destroyed multiple times. Heard heard one day, Billy. Will you maybe hear me one day? I, I don't know what that means, Night Me. I, I'm listening. D DM me on all the platforms with your story and I'll listen. Baby Jesus, are you? Have you ever been into any MMOs? I'm addicted to Final Fantasy XIV now. No, I've never played a lot of MMOs. I always played Magic the Gathering cards, so my free time went into that back in the day. General Martok said, what was your worst hangover like? I think I've told this story before on here. I was at like a family getaway on the Oregon coast, and I drank so much. It was the first time I'd ever blacked out. We kept getting like, we kept closing down multiple bars and uh, drinking more and more. So I thought none of the other bars would be open, but we kept finding our way into bars. So I got ridiculously drunk because every bar I left I thought was going to be the bar of the night. So I was chugging. The last thing I remember is this dude with Down syndrome laughing at me and handing me a shot. And then I took that shot and then I came to outside of a subway covered in vomit. And then I was home and I woke up and I was in the hotel room and I was completely naked Still had some vomit, you know, uh, uh, around my, my, my aura. And uh, my niece and nephew, who were little kids at the time, came in. 
to wake me up and they were jumping on my stomach trying to pull the blankets off me. And I knew that I had uh, no clothes on underneath those blankets. So I'm holding the blankets down. And my sister sees me, and I look like I'm about to puke because they're jumping on my stomach. She runs in with a garbage can. I yop over the garbage can, vomit in the garbage can. And um, the kids run away because I puked. And I'm pretty sure uh, the rest of the day we had to drive all around Oregon and back up to Seattle. I was in the back of the car hung over as hell. That was pretty bad. That was pretty bad. That was a bad hangover. Uh, I might have had a couple of worse hangovers, but that one I think was the worst. I had a couple that lasted longer, but that one was rough because I had to recuperate in the backseat of a car or driving most of the time. Ah, all right, night me. Forever damaged. Billy, please explain why you think it's normal for a kid to pee in their room on the floor. Did I say that? Did I say it was normal? A person? Please explain to me why you think I think that's normal. I think kids uh, do pee stuff. Like, I remember when I was a little kid, I used to uh, take peas behind my refrigerator. Because I was like a little kid. And for some reason, I would pee in the little area behind the refrigerator. I don't know. I was a weird little kid. Little kids do weird stuff. They poop and pee where they're not supposed to sometimes. I don't know, man. What's wrong with my car? Uh, I got in a three-car pileup on the the freeway going 60 miles per hour. And uh, the butt end of my car got rammed in by another car that got rammed in by another car. And the car in the back of the pileup was totaled. Mine's still drivable, but I got to take it in and get it fixed. Minimum speed for Pokemon is 40 miles an hour. Yeah. Cinephilix is Billy. My nephew wants to know what your favorite mafia movie is. Uh, um... Good fellas. I don't know. Uh, Sexy Beast. Godfather Part Two. Sexy Beast. With uh, who played Gandhi? The old bald man. He played uh, he was the Mandarin or whatever in Iron Man Three. Can never remember his name. Ben Kingsley, yeah. Ben Kingsley and Sexy Beast. We played this guy in the last stream, the Bulldog. We'll check this out. A person says it's not normal to pee anywhere besides the bathroom, Whoa! Billy. Whoa! Hey, August coming in for a year on the Patreon. Cheers, August. Thank you for pledging for one year on the $25 level. It was really cool. The Bulldog. Ladies and gentlemen, the American jury and Bulldog Nation, there is a reason in the history of time that we have taught in parables and anecdotes and metaphors. Okay. Jesus taught in parables. Abraham Lincoln was famous for telling juries and political audience stories. And it just paints a picture. Sometimes something very simple paints a picture. Today, I want to use a simple expression. There are people in this country who are pulling the wagon. Who are the wagon pullers? They're the entrepreneurs. They're the workers, the managers, small and medium wow. businesses. Tips for the sweet boy. Wow. wow. Coop car. Thank you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Hey, guys. If we can get to 50% tonight... I'll do the zap. Oh my god! I'll do I'll do a shot of something. I'll do a shot this time. Last time I did uh, wine, 
If we can get to 50% before the end of tonight's show, which, what, we have like another hour left, 50 minutes left. If we can make it, I will take a hit, do a shot. Or hold on. How do I, oh, yeah. Take a hit, do a shot. Zap your neck. Blow it out and zap my neck, right? You, you zap and then blow it out on the zap usually. Yes. Okay. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. I I know you've... you've Cannonball! Gone, Cannonball! You've gone through a lot of trauma. I have. <laughs> to my noggin. <laughs> Even large Wall Street businesses. Anybody who is out there building a company, building a business, or working are the wagon pullers. Take a hit. Then you do have a shot. Those who are riding exhale. in the wagon. And ladies and gentlemen, the American jury and bulldog nation, the Democrats, the Marxists, the communists, Kendall. the socialists, the far left, they want to put as many people as possible in the wagon for the wagon pullers to pull. Wagon. 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 Ronald sh- Wagon. Wagon. Chris Wagon. Qu- Chris Wagon. You know what? You and I are rational. Do we not understand and accept that once somebody's at the end of their life having retired, that they're allowed to ride in the way and to stop pulling it? You retired? Do we not accept the fact that there's mental and physical disabled people yes. that they have to ride in that wagon and we don't mind pulling that wagon? You know what else? There's people who were once workers, vibrant able to help pull the wagon, get hurt on the job, something happens to them, they have to ride in the wagon. We don't mind children riding in the wagon either, do we? The reality is all of us wagon pullers don't mind pulling the wagon. And we don't mind and we accept those that need to ride in the wagon. What, what's his point? But you know what we shouldn't be burdened with? Here it is. People riding in the wagon that should be helping pull the wagon instead of riding in the wagon. Oh, is this is like a welfare thing? Yeah. Or, yeah. And you know who else we don't like pulling that's riding that wagon? All the swamp. All those people that need that government paycheck who then act like that they're entitled. It's all a joke. But just keep that in mind as this battle for America continues between the wagon pullers and those that want everybody to ride in the wagon. Because one day, one day, folks, wagon, there's going to be so many people in the wagon that the wagon pullers won't be able to pull the wagon any longer. Yeah, and there's, there's so much uh, money in the pockets of some of those wagon pullers that it's like them throwing a dime out on the road when a lot of the people that are pulling the wagon are putting a big percentage of what they earn back into the, the system. So maybe we should start pushing upward and letting the big dogs, Bulldog, do a little more polling. The way gun. And then what happens? Someone famously said that Bulldog, socialism is great. Like budget Stone Cold Steve Austin what? Didn't, what? didn't, didn't. What? Wait till the money runs out. Then what happens? It was also said that capitalism When the money runs out, what, when, when the, the 1% has so much of the money that there's none left over for every other person, that's when maybe we do that thing about eating the rich. <clears throat> the way gun. The way gun. No, you, you got to start giving back some to the bottom when you've found a way to pinch them for every penny they're worth. The system's broken for the people on the bottom. That's why the wagon is polling people. The way gun. Worse, but it works. And why the fuck are we building Socialism our future on a great, wagon? But it doesn't. It doesn't. Let's invent the, 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 the Ferris the wheel, not the wagon wheel. Reinvent the way gun. Reinvent the wagon. Payer. Can't pay anymore? Then what happens? Ladies and gentlemen, the American Jury and Bulldog Nation, I tell this analogy and story because Governor DeWine. And oh, oh, yeah, Mike DeWine. He's the governor of Ohio. Mike DeWine. Governor Bashir have absolutely no regard 
for the wagon pullers. I think this guy is based out of Kentucky, which uh, is, you know, most of the cities in Kentucky are in the northern part of it. So he's like he's talking about Ohio and Kentucky's governors. AOC has no regard for the wagon pullers. The wagon pr- pullers. They don't. This is the bulldog. Every dog has their day. For all of you that are pulling the wagon, let's just keep pulling as long as we can. Oh, yeah. That wasn't the worst video I've seen from the bulldog. I think it's only the third video I've seen from the bulldog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The other two were worse. Yes. Um, let's see here. Um, <laughs> He's Ken fucking Good times. The bullshit nation. See, thing is, here we got a wagon. We got to pull the wagon. Wagon my tail because I'm a bulldog. Ugh. Yeah. Um, I saw this thing where uh, Russell Russell Peters, you, you know Russell Peters? Comedian? Yeah, and he's from Canada originally. He yeah. was on um, Jordan Peterson's show. Uh, I saw a clip from it. It was with Jordan Peterson and his daughter. And then Russell Peters Russell Peters just starts like praising socialism and like the socialized healthcare in Canada. And then he's done those two are just like deers in headlights. Well, that's fantastic. And then, and then his daughter's like, I think I I could probably use some warmer weather. I think I might want to move to Texas right now. It's really funny. Um I was looking for the clip really quick, but I couldn't find it. Damn. Let's see. Boom, 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 boom. Russell boom, Peters. Boom, 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 boom. Nivey says, I wish you kiddos on DP wouldn't encourage shocking yourselves. How about drawing a penis on someone's forehead? If you get a certain amount donated. Huh? Uh, I'm not drawing a dick on this pretty face. But uh, also, the, the shock collars are made for doggies. So if they're good for doggies, they could be good for omens. They could be good for omens. Ah, uh, humans. Yeah, uh, let's. We'll move on to something else. Did uh, are there any stream labs we didn't read? Yeah. Okay. We got a stream lab from Shabisky that says, "I'm sorry, I left you guys. Uh, biggest mistake of my life. I should be punished." Um, accordingly. Uh, oh, I know Shabisky. I know. Uh, then we got that big love from uh, Rallis and Change. Coop Carr gave us that big love. August again with that big time one year patron dono. And the fun fact from uh, Zimon and BX. So fun fact, former or current presidents cannot drive on public roads by for security reasons. George Bush drives his truck on his private property in Texas. Bear of Gaming says... Uh, Trump's Rob looks like a dipshit version of a real life God of War character. Chris Xavier said the Montreal Canadiens have eliminated the Toronto Maple Leafs from the Stanley Cup playoffs tonight. 40 plus years in the making. Canadian Rob. teams don't win the Stanley Cup. Fix Soul gave that uh, don't know. Cinephiliac gave us that don't know, saying no more shinies, Billy. Also, I didn't get to announce my engagement on the main show. I found a broad dumb enough to say yes. A salute, Billy and Ben. Also, my nephew Jaden says hi to Billy. He's a big fan. Hi, Jaden. Hi. Uh, Barry of Gaming said uh, Mike Perry is a UFC fighter, uh, referring to the Mike Perry bar fight. That actually sounds crazy. A UFC fighter in a bar fight? That sounds nuts. I have to um, go hang myself over a you have to pee pee? hole. Yeah, I got to go pee pa. You got to pee pee? Yeah, so Stanley Cup playoffs, a Canadian team has not won the Stanley Cup in, I think, over 25 years. When was the last time? Let's see. Last Canadian team to win Stanley Cup. Nineteen ninety three. So it's been almost thirty years. 
The Montreal Canadiens won the 1993 Stanley Cup. Yeah. Almost 30 years. It's been a while, guys. Quite some time. I'm waiting to get my Seattle hockey tickets for next year because I really want to go because they're going to open the Seattle Kraken season um, coming up, you know, like this fall slash winter. Very excited. And I'm eating cheese. Mmm. Holy shit. Man, cheese is delicious. Thumbs up for cheese, everybody. Mm -mm -mm. It's a mukbang. (laughs) That's what it is. I've got everything queued up. I am going to now play the intro since we're just chilling here, you know? Cheese, cheese, cheese. This is Tillamook medium cheddar. It's very good. Highly recommend. And we're starting the new segment now. He called me, sir. It got me so humiliated. It's so bad. People are discriminating against wolves. Wow. They're laughing at us, at our stupidity. And you better well learn to love it. Girls on film. Girls on film. Girls on film. Um, so China uh, announced that they're going to let couples have three children now. What? An embarrassment China of riches. China will now allow couples to have a third child. It's an attempt to help the shrinking birth rate and aging population that are threats to the country's long-term economic prospects. For many years, China limited most families to have only a single child. That policy was relaxed in 2016. Relaxed in 2016. Now yeah. you can have three. Three. Yeah, because I guess their ha- like birth rates are plummeting there. Thanks yeah. for watching. So I, I don't know if this is a good or bad thing. Uh, it's weird that they mo- usually they only want to have uh, sons. So there's this weird uh, differential between uh, males and females there. There's like way more males. It's weird. Males on Starting film. Was vice president of the United States. So this is Sleepy Joe giving his uh, Memorial Day address. That baby wink. Carrying my night night. A number of troops. Is it just too sunny there? Killed. Maybe. In the wars in Afghanistan and Iraq. Not an approximation. Not rounded off numbers. They each leave behind an entire community and family. And today, that number is 7,036. 7,036 fallen angels who've lost their lives in these conflicts. Those are, that, that's the U.S. soldier death toll in Iraq and Afghanistan. Hmm. It's like 9-11 was the reason they gave us for going there, and so many more people, so many more times people died trying to accomplish something that it didn't even really accomplish anything. We spent a ton of money out there. Well, the good thing is we're still spending at record numbers. And on this Memorial Day, we honor their legacy and their sacrifice, duty, honor, <laughs> Country. He said duty. They lived for it. Someone made a good point in the chat. Fallen, like, 
Lucifer and Satan were fallen angels. <laughs> Damn, yeah. They died for it. <laughs> Did he just we call dead soldiers are Satan? eternally grateful. That's if you're a Christian. In yep. my world, I don't believe in Satan. I'm a sweet boy. The biggest story is the mo All of them devils. Them devils. So all, all of the Democrats in the uh, in the Texas House of Representatives just like got up and left before they could vote on this bill the to make it harder. The restrictive voting bill? Yeah. It was on the verge of a passage Sunday night. The Democrats blocked the bill. They walked off the House floor just before the midnight deadline. Bang, bang. They don't want you to know the truth on that bill. They don't want you to know how they don't want, they don't want to see you at the polls. They don't want you to know that you have rights. But we're going to be your voice. Republican Governor Greg Abbott says election integrity and bail reform were emergency items for this legislative session. They still must pass. They will be added to this I bet you special Abbott, session. I bet you Abbott wouldn't like it if they made it harder for people in wheelchairs to vote. Try to pass the voting bill again. The measure would have eliminated drive through voting and imposed the new requirements to cast a mail-in ballot. Critics say it's aimed at suppressing minority votes. Boom, boom. This is perhaps the most Joe Biden thing I've ever seen. Joe Biden has been a senator, a vice president, and now a president himself. There's been a lot of change in his political career. Remember when I told you about the ice cream thing? I'm like... Yeah. Joe Biden, like, there's like a, a couple thousand pictures of him going back 30 years yeah. of him eating ice cream. Fucker loves ice really cream. It's really weird. Over the years. Fucker but loves ice cream. The one creams. constant is that Joe Biden really, really loves ice cream. He talks about it literally all the time. No matter what's going on, no matter if he's a senator or a sitting president, no matter what crisis is sitting on his plate, just get that man a cone. Mm, yeah, oh, he loves of a ice diet cream. Coke? Does he have an ice cream cone button on the fucking presidential desk like Trump had a Diet Coke button? That'd be hilarious. He never has to worry about brain freeze. <laughs> this guy's jokes bomb so many times. Yeah. That's great gut feeling. <laughs> Good times. Can run a 10-minute mile. Oh, Greg. Everything else. Yes. Do it. All right. I'm beginning to think a lot of people don't like white people. <laughs> and yeah, ironically, a lot of don't. them are white people too. Just ask Lockheed Martin, the nation's largest defense contractor. Shh. Last year, they sent their white male executives to diversity training camp. The purpose, to break down their white male privilege. And here I thought that was the view's job. <laughs> Crickets after this. <laughs> In the city. No, not one laugh. I laughed. Yeah, but you laugh for other reasons. <laughs> Journal, Chris Rufo explains how white employees are forced to atone for their putrid pale pigment. These workers include retired Air Force colonels, generals, and also the dudes who run the $1.7 trillion F-35 fighter jet program. But they're Caucasian men, making them as white and useless as a really bad lacrosse player. The Lockheed Martin White Men's Caucus. And then he, then he explains the joke, which is also another no-no. Because, -no. <laughs> you know, they're white. <laughs> they're like, oh, oh, yeah, we were supposed to laugh. <laughs> there, the employees were asked to list connotations for white men. What was listed? Can you guess? Racist, angry, old, anti-women, Aryan Nation, KKK, guns. Basically, I mean, Aryan Nation literally does mean white men. Right? Provider, executive, majority, Republicans. Yeah. What? <laughs> Hardworking. Founding fathers. There's there's positive stuff in here. You just found all the negative Chauvinist, connotations. Chauvinist, can't jump. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. 
Really how CNN described Trump voters. <laughs> the conclusion, white men don't care about diversity and refuse to give up their power, so we need to cure them. Yeah, These guys were then forced to they embrace... They refuse to give up their power. Anybody with power refuses to give up their power. So they keep power. Here's the thing, though. Maybe, maybe, maybe the white people are powerful for a reason. Maybe it's because we found a crazy stone in the Caucasoid Mountains thousands of years ago. An inclusion philosophy that only includes them if they admit that they're the problem. Sounds like Kat's marriage counselor. <laughs> but apparently they have it so good. They're like plants. Ha <laughs> ha. Ha ha! Like there, there was when I was in high school. I was a stagehand uh, in a in a school play that was a comedy, and during the show, my job was to sit in the in the audience and laugh at the, when the jokes were dropped. I was a plant to get other people like, oh, I should laugh at this too. That's basically what they are. The other people on his show here. Man, do you fake laughs with me? Yes. That they're the only ones you can be racist. Liar! To. Don't the ask the questions you don't want to know the answer. Liar! Are all about uncovering roots of white male culture and heterosexual, heterosexual privilege. They point out that positive traits like hard work and principles are devastating to women and minorities. If I were a woman or a minority, I'd feel insulted. I wonder if you identify as one. Would that get you out of this stupid seminar? <laughs> So we live in a world where expecting hard work for minorities is racist and telling white people they're intrinsically evil isn't. Employees then must rebuild their identities as agents of change by reading over 100 white privilege statements where they confess their acts of bigotry. One example, quote. I mean, these people are making big money, right? And they're. Yeah. It's like CEOs and shit that they're forcing to do this, right? Yeah. And the truth is, I've been to a few of these white man meetings. Huh. We tell everybody that we're talking about how racist we are, but really, we just eat delicious sandwiches and watch the game. Hookers and blow. Yes. I can commit acts of terrorism. Yeah, that's exactly what I look for in a weapons maker. <laughs> if it sounds like a cult indoctrination, that's because it is a cult indoctrination. All that's missing are the extra wives. Actually, calling was it a cult a joke? is a smear against cults. This is basically a cult without the fun stuff. You get the humiliation, but none of the drug-fueled orgies. I wonder if CNN is bothering... Was that a joke? Yeah, I think that was I, a joke. The people that are there to laugh at his jokes, sometimes they don't even realize it's a joke. They're so uncomfortable. They don't. They're like, oh. They cover this. Or is it too close to their own left-wing brainwash? Let's see what's on that network right now. I hate I white hate people. You so I hate much myself. Because you're white, the sight of my white skin so makes more. me vomit. <laughs> I'm a monster. <laughs> their interns, their interns had to film that. Probably. Oh man, <clears throat> this is great. That's his writing staff. That's who writes his jokes. That's why he's so unfunny. Oh my god. Say what you want about the liberals, but they pay the comedians to write the jokes. Oh. <sighs> A lot of energy there. Yes. These evil white men had to read statements from fictitious minorities and women that explain how bad white men have been to them. One of them was, quote, I'm tired of hearing of the concept that we should be colorblind. Sounds like someone hates Martin Luther King Jr. too. They have more in common with George Wallace than George Floyd. So the whole point of an integrated society is now irritating to our modern race warriors. Maybe because if everything isn't racist, mm. they're out of a job. I wonder what our angry white male thinks. He's angry. God, like, I can see having these views, right? But I can't see watching this shit to have your views strengthened. This would just oh, turn me off. I'm like, okay, maybe I'm fucking stupid because this is. No, this is hilarious. What are you talking about? Look at this. <laughs> yeah. Critical race theory seems to have seeped into every part of our society by now. He's playing a ukulele. Except one. The inside of my head. Was he playing the lady earlier? <laughs> that was oh. it? Yep. That was the joke. 
And he was playing well, a fuck, ukulele. How much does Greg Gutfeld get paid? I'm Probably thinking about, a lot. I'm thinking about turning over a new leaf. I could be way better at this than Greg Gutfeld. Nothing wrong with I'll that. get all the racists to so, come over and blah, blah. yeah, guys. You know what I hate about being white these days is that you can't just say whatever you want anymore. What the hell, man? Everybody, like, oh yeah, fuck yeah, Bill Fridge. So funny, got big dick too. Let's go. Why would Lockheed Martin greenlight this idiocy? Well, what do they make? Baskets and flutes? Cute hats for bunnies? No, it's air and missile defense systems, fighter jets. Essentially, they sell things that kill people. And not just white He's estimated to be worth about $13 million. Craig Guffield? Yeah. Ugh. People, brown ones too. And they make billions off it. You can go on Investopedia and check out their products, but you'll also find, just as important, their commitment to diversity, inclusiveness, and social responsibilities. Those are their words. Meaning what? They'll kill people of any color? No, it means Thank that the God. missile destroying a village was brought to you by a non-binary person of color with a degree in gender studies. <laughs> yeah, you see what's going really on, right? Worthwhile Corporations joke. have finally figured out a way to defang the hard left. The anti-war crowd can easily be appeased if you just go woke and play the I'm the worst race ever card. It's the best distraction since texting while driving. A pacifist might be disgusted by Lockheed, but what if that fighter jet has a rainbow bumper sticker on its fuselage? Yes, queen! And guess what? The cockpit is now called a non-binary inclusion space in which the aviators drop projectiles on citizens from above. That woman is really laying it on thick with the laugh. Yeah, she's probably on the writing citizens. staff. She laughs at all her jokes. Uh, you know, I've been trying to figure out who's behind woke culture. I thought there was no head on this snake, but I think I'm wrong. It's the corporations. They finally figured out how to placate the left. And that's to throw their white employees under the M1 Abrams tank. Uh, On one hand, Jeff Bezos is supporting Black Lives Matter. In the other hand, is the steering wheel of his 500-foot yacht. Does it make uh, for better products? No. Does it improve race relations? Not by a long shot. But it does put a lot of money in the pockets of diversity coordinators and other grifters and a smile on the face of filthy rich executives. Uh, like a bomb, it makes for a hell of a racket in more ways than one. Oh, is, here, is this another joke? Yeah. Welcome. Tonight's guest. Bill Maher is funnier She's than this, the right? Only big uh, yes. Oh, here's the actual, like, this is his little panel. You nice. want to see this? Yes. I guess we'll see. Fox Business Network anchor Dagan McDowell. That was devil signs, man. She She's worships the, only the fucking Dallas devil. Cowboy who married a dude. As far as we know, anyway. Former NFL linebacker Jeff Roar. If he looks familiar to you, he probably was the dunk tank operator at your favorite carnival. Fox News radio host Jimmy Failure. She's very bold. Her hair is gold, and every day she gets more old. Fox News contributor Cat Tip. God. We can cut this now. You know, Jeff, I, just, I, was... I just wanted to see. You don't the... want to hear the panel? No, man. Why not? I, I don't know. Let's go. Let's watch the panel. Trying Let's... to find, just a, find a funny way to introduce you, and I couldn't think of anything funnier than you being an NFL linebacker for Dallas Cowboys who then married a guy who looks like Liberace. Uh, <laughs> Liberace? That's true. Archie? Did he call Liberace Liberace? Liberace. Liberal Archie. <laughs> Liber Archie. Yeah, there's Liber a lot Jughead. of. There's a lot of communism coming to Riverdale. I married Liberace. Uh, you did, you just did. a younger version of Liberace, but uh, it's an interesting thing to actually be an NFL player, an ex-NFL player, and be married to somebody like Liberace. It kind of opens a lot of new doors. <laughs> so so are, they, are they like just like, hi, oh, you played football and you're gay. Is, is he that, actually is that, gay or was that the joke? Maybe I'm so he confused. is. I, what did they say his name was? Joe Jeff Rohrer or something. He might be gay. Well, it just whatever. came up a second ago. This stuff, this woke stuff, this critical race theory, how would it He how is gay, I think. Been, I'm looking at his yeah. husband. Uh, count, how would it have been greeted by the Cowboys this back is, in the looks 1980s? Like meatloaf if, posing you can, with, if you were sober. I don't know. Meatloaf and uh, who's the who's the kid from Third Rock from the Sun? Joseph Gordon Levitt or something? Yeah. It's a cute, cute. Or back couple. then he could remember what it was like. <laughs> it it would not have worked, especially on that team. I would have been <laughs> off that team. They would have never drafted me in the first place. <laughs> um, but when I did get there, we had a hell of a lot of fun, Greg. Yes. Yeah, a lot of orgies, a lot of extra <laughs> all that stuff. The NFL was out of control back then. Yes, it was. So this if the, the, has it changed I mean, this stuff 
this stuff, can it work in sports or is it impossible with that mindset? I think it could work in sports, but I don't think sports wants it to work in sports, especially yeah. pro football. Man, you know, baseball is super macho too. Basketball, definitely no. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be a very long oh, time. Oh, so you're saying hockey's super gay. And those soccer players. So there's out players in the, in the <laughs> NFL, NBA, or the MLB. Maybe pro soccer. Yes. I knew it. I knew Maybe it. Maybe pro soccer. You know, uh, Dagan, how do you think this training actually makes white men feel? <laughs> I hope it makes all men. I think that you should Is have Dr. Quinn medicine woman training for all yeah. dudes. I hope it makes them feel awful. They need to be, <laughs> they need to be indoctrinated into what it feels like to be a girl. Yeah. Like simulated monthly cramps with a cattle prod. You still have those? Hmm. <laughs> Repeatedly that. poked at your Crotchular region. <laughs> I, li I priced out cattle pods, uh, pods on Amazon. Cattle pods? It's a new iPod. A four, out of four and a half out of five star rating on Amazon. A cattle prod is only $63.98. So you could make that financially feasible for a corporation. Or teach men what it feels like to wear high heels. Just pound their tiny little toes with a rubber mallet. Yeah. I, I thought you were going to say something else other than toes. But. I just... Here's the thing, right? Uh, when they started realizing sexual harassment was a problem, you had to go to sexual harassment training seminars. And it was kind of a bummer. You know, like, oh, God, I'm not a sexual harasser. Why do I have to go to this? Uh, some people were. Some people had to hear that. And yeah, I'm not a fucking uh, problem, right? But maybe, maybe somebody is, and they have to hear this. Uh, they're getting paid a ton of fucking money. They have to do it to everyone just to cover their asses and be like, well, you got the training, so if you do it, it's your fault. Yeah. We can't say we didn't tell you. That's what that's what it's all about. It, it's them covering their asses. <sighs> Look, I, I hate to say this, but it's still really cool to be white, okay? <laughs> Don't let the media tell you differently. Some white people even have happy lives. The promise. media. It's the promise. media. Just tell, or just tell them... Smile, honey. Yeah, yeah. Why are you smiling? Oh, did your latest husband leave you? You really need to turn that frown around. So I, I'm all for uh, male training. Frown Not this around. kind of male training. That kind of male this training. This kind of male training. Exactly. <laughs> but wait. I think that's Not called this type of male training. Remember, we're trying to all talk against this at once because we are Fox News and we never have dissenting opinions. So we, we've been we're, we're almost at the two and a half hour mark, I believe. So pretty soon here, we're going to do a post show. We're going to do it on twitch.tv slash drunken peasants for a little while. Uh, I'm going to share the link with all of you. Uh, you should go there and follow us. And uh, I don't want to hear that you don't like Twitch. You, you should just do it anyway. I don't like Twitch. You're going to be there anyway. Shit. Uh, go there. Follow us right now. Because uh, this... That show is going to immediately follow this show. Yeah. Um, fall in line. Fall everything, in line. everything. Do we have will any streamlabs that right. we haven't read? All right. We got a. Uh, the Locust God says all of us white people are exactly like Vandal Savage. Wow. Zimoani BX says we're going to hijack the wagon pretty soon the and wagon. turn it into a rocket ship. Station wagon. Hold for Harambe. Hodel for Harambe. More platoon. AMC 100K. Get that money. That lines us up with the current relevations. Re revelations. Revelation right. noose. All right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Maybe if these fox clowns and people who like them stopped having such detestable views and being fundamentally unlikable in general, then people might actually like or at least tolerate them. Yeah. Not everybody can be as likable as me, though. Maybe I should teach a class on being likable. Be pretty sweet class. Make a couple coins. You can do that after you get your passport. No, All right, everyone. We're going to end the show. We're going over to twitch.tv slash drunken peasants. Everyone go over there right now. Link in the chat. 
Uh, in the description below, twitch.tv slash drunken peasants. We're going live there immediately. We're going live. Uh, and like the stream, cool, all the, all the cool stuff that we usually say, right? Like it, subscribe, kiss the ring. I don't know what, what to say. <laughs>